Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the after show. What's happening? Oh, of course. I had to do some resets. <laughs> As always, the audio has got messed up. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay. I'm enjoying the Fahrenheit, guys. The Fahrenheit. It's taking me back to the days when I was a kid chasing those trucks to get the whiff of that gasoline smell. <laughs> crazy it's crazy but we are here oh actually you know what copy uh, let me drop the link actually let me also drop it in the discord server that way the cast and crew can join from within the discord hey okay. I'm here to talk about the Rolex Explore. What? Explore. Well, it's kind of Explore. The Air King. The Air King, guys. What an underappreciated watch. Seriously. And uh, if it's going out, if it's flying away, if Rolex Air King is getting discontinued, a lot of people are going to regret I see a lot of people complain how uh, Rolex has discontinued the 39 millimeter size Explorer 1 because it, it, it's more wearable. It's more noticeable. The 39 mil, it's if you want to wear a watch and you want people to know you're wearing a watch. Whereas 36, it's, uh, it's built for purpose. It's built for purpose, guys. The two-tone, though, there's no purpose. It's just for fun. It's, there's nothing more but fun. But let's see who we got in the chat. We got Tommy. Tommy, how are you doing? Thank you for reminding everybody to like, comment, subscribe, and tell all of your friends. Thank you so much. I see Jubilee, Jubilee, and Luke had a, an extensive discussion. We got my man, JC. Let's see who else. We got Shot in the Dark. Hello. REG. Who are the four assholes who downvoted this stream? Well, we know who they are. We got Ed Hammond. <laughs> There's a bunch. There's a bunch of guys, you know. The haters, the haters. The Ed Hammonds of the world. We got El Boogie. Good evening. Good evening. Uh tiny stacker air king was the dog of the sports watches for a long time it only got popular when you couldn't get anything i know right like humans we have hard time of telling how good something is all right it's almost impossible for for a human to say how good something is because we like comparisons okay rolex is good in comparison to those other brands if there was no rolex there would be other brands and you would be comparing other things because it's always like like uh i i like uh for example fragrances right and sometimes I, I watch these like 10 best fragrances videos and there'll be a, the, like either a guy or a girl would be uh, giving it to her friend to smell something. And the friend would would smell the first one. They say, oh, I think it's a seven. And then she gave her a second fragrance and she would say, oh, okay. Let me change my first choice to like five. And I think this is a seven. There's no like these, the, the lists the top tens, right? The top tens, number one is the best one, but only in that list. So, look, 
I think once the first like ten best Rolex watches are completely have disappeared, uh, then people were starting. Well, you know what? This is a pretty good watch compared to what else you can get compared to other brands. So Rolex Air King underappreciated, unloved, and I think if it gets some uh, uh, some updates because it's good, I think it's good. It's just it does need, I think, uh, a better a better clasp. I I would like to see a proper. I would actually like to see a proper safety clasp on the Air King. Yeah, I think it needs a safety clasp upgrade. I would love to see a safety class. Danger, Will Robinson. Tim, check in with the Marco. He's got plenty of experience chasing delivery trucks. <laughs> uh, uh, he wasn't the only one. Uh, we had uh, we actually had a, a a good friend of ours in the Discord. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, what was uh, uh, oh my god, it was. Factory, Factory got a brand new watch. Oh yeah, some incredible stuff. I mean, you guys got to check out the Discord. Discord is uh, where the show continues. We we continue to share the love for watches and just more than watches, the love of life with watches. Uh, let's see. We got. Uh, uh, da, da, da. All they got to do is remove the seconds markers. Oh, you don't like the seconds markers? Let's see. Oh, you're saying they have to clean it up a little bit? Oh, I don't even know. Like, it's so hard. Like, what can they do? What can they do? Oh, this would be a hard one. I think, actually, I, I really like how Rolex have finally uh, started to change the shape of their watches so that each uh, each watch in their range has a different shape different size it's more unique whereas everything before looked like an iteration of submariner an iteration of uh date just now each watch in the range has its own unique shape so i think what the uh, explore what the air king missing is its own more unique uh, case because just like right now it just looks like an oyster perpetual with a uh, oyster perpetual with a with a funky dial. Oh, hey KC, how's it going? Hey, evening Tim. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Doing good. I was in the city today. Made awesome, a short, awesome. long walk, yeah. and we got Rolex. Lolex, hey. please. How's I just came back from a workout. Hey, right Lolex. I just came back from a workout right now, so I'm all sweaty and hot right now. Nice. <laughs> the way nice. the ladies like it. What are we looking at? Air Kings right now? I was just thinking about them last night. Yeah. Very cool watches. It's just, I don't know. Have you guys ever handled them before, Tim? I did. Yes, I did. Casey, have you? Yeah. No, I haven't handled one before. In terms of um, feeling, just holding <laughs> them. I th I love the proportions of the Air King. I love mm -hmm. the big fat case on it. Oh yeah, it's like a beefy Explorer one. I love the bracelet, how it tapers. I even mm -hmm. like the clasp that they have on them. It's not the professional clasp. It's no. like the, from the the uh, Oyster Perpetual line. It's the old Oyster Perpetual clasp. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I is it? Oh, go on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, is is the case the same as the Milgauss? No. Yeah. Oh, no. no. Okay. No, 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 no. no. It, it's a little one? bit different. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's actually let me pull it up side by side. It's it's it feels so good on the wrist, in my opinion. It's like a beefy Explorer one. I I love everything about it. Mm. The dial is horrendous, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the <laughs> ugliest. It's why the three six nine? Why? It makes no sense. It, oh, like, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's really Bob simple. Two saying it's the same case as the Milgauss, which I think it no. is. I think the bracelet's just bigger on the Milgauss. No, it's not. It's not. It's, it's not the same. I, I, it's not yeah. the same. I haven't held it side, back, uh, side to side. See, first of all, it's fully brushed. 
Yeah, okay. which you look at the you look at the Air King. Uh, yeah. Well, besides the the polishing on the on the bezel, it's fully yeah. brushed. Whereas uh, Milgauss is polished on the sides and polished center links. Um, I love yeah. the brushed. I love the brushed steel on it. It's it's a mm. amazing but, day watch. Yeah, but shape wise, I think they are the same, right? Uh, it, not the finishing, mm. but shape wise. The Milgauss. Let me, let me see a different angle of of a Milgauss. The Milgauss. Milgauss. Uh, it's a, no. The bracelet no, is different. wider on the Milgauss. It's wider for yeah. sure. You can see here. Look at the mm. the sides. They're actually kind of they're protruding. See, they got like a little bulb to it. Uh, okay. Whereas uh, on the Air King, they're flat. <laughs> you see, they're not. There is no kind of. They don't have that protrusion. They're just flat. It's uh, it's the three six nine that really bothers me because yeah. it's white gold, so you know it's the parts that they used on the previous the Mark One Explorer thirty nine. Yes. It's, it's those are the same parts. parts. Yes, it's the same parts that they're just recycling, which kills me. Mm. And uh, I don't like. And this is a hot take here. I don't like mm. the green, green and yellow. I don't. Ooh. Like, I would like it if it was all white text. All white text, green mm -hmm. and, and then mm -hmm. three, six, and nine was uh, 15, 30, and 45. If they just kept with the five increments, yeah, I think that would have been a knockout. How good would that look? White Rolex, white crown, maybe a green crown. That would be really cool. And then the green second hand, and then they, they kept with the numerals, the fives. It would be amazing. Mm. You know, I think uh, the thing... It, it it is weird that they put Rolex in green and the crown in yellow, right? Because it's yeah. almost it makes it more special. You would think they would put this on some very unique models, mm -hmm. right? On something super super special, uh, like you know they put Explorer in orange, Daytona yeah. in red. Yeah, but here they kind of reversed it, it, which makes kind of no sense. Like it should, like logically, right? Logically, this should have been white. And the Air King should have been said in green, mm -hmm. right? That's yeah. just that's just how the way I, I going by their logic, right? Like if they had some kind of internal rules, right? Which I think they will go back to. Uh, let's see, what was the vintage one? They have the vintage one, right? Yeah, here, the, right? Vin the vintage ones are very clean. Yeah, yeah. Where you see, and Air King is in black, and it's at the top. So I think in the future. They might go back to Rolex, uh, kind of oyster patch, but I think they would say Air King in green. That's how I would want it. Let, let me let me show you a close up of the Explorer, and I think if they did it this way, it would have been a little bit better. So yeah. you see, it? let me let me just zoom it in here. Let me ask you something. Let, let me ask you that. that. Yeah, that's nice. I, I would like it if it was like that, and. Air King set was set in green underneath. Let me ask you guys something. If they did yeah. for the Air King, and this is just, listen to me on this one. Let's mm -hmm. say for the dial layout, they took out the fives. They took out the increments of fives. They kept three, six, and nine in white gold, and they put a big Rolex crown in white gold, how they have it on the Datejust 41. Oh. And that was the Air King. And they kept it with the current The way size. they have it on the Milgauss. Yeah, the way they have it on the Milgauss. They have a big mm -hmm. white gold crown, three, six, and nine in white gold. And then they just had, that's it. And then they took out the fives and they just had indices. Do you, would you be into, interested in that watch if they did it like that? It will look a lot like the Explorer, right? It would look a lot like the Explorer, except the yes. Explorer doesn't have the white gold crown on it. So it doesn't yeah. have that. And this one would have uh, the second hand in green. So you'd have a little pop of color. Mm. You know, it's just different. Rolex. You see, they had a uh, crown in white. Co well, this was in steel, but technically, right? Like, if they go back to this dial, yeah, layout, right? Because this, this is literally what you were just said. You just yeah, said, what, what yeah, Rolex, right? said, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Instead of yeah. vintage vibe like this, but yes, mod, yes. Would you buy yeah. this watch? Would you buy this watch? I think that'd be really cool. I think it'd be really white cool. and black. Yeah, and if they make this the 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 case size thirty nine. No, 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 no. They kept it how it is. Chunk. No, no, no. 39, 39, because there's no Explorer yeah, 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they, they take the Explorer 1. No! Oh, 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 They oh, make oh, the oh. Air Kingdom. No, no, no. <laughs> they take... Oh, 
I have a genius idea. Okay. Just take right, we go. the existing Explorer 1 case. Yeah. And just change the dial. Because it's a perfect case. The yeah. Explorer 1 has perfect case. And the, the, the movements, they perfectly match up. You yeah. just put the different dial. And it's got... Because the, the, the Air King doesn't have a safety clasp. It doesn't have certain features. Yeah. But you know how everybody's upset and crying? Where is my, <laughs> where is my Explorer 1 39 mil? There it is. Do you think Rolex has conversations like this? Like there's Let design just... guys that sit around like at a table and they're like, what if we did this with Air King? What if we did this with, what if we got rid of the 39 mil Explorer? Do you think they have conversations like this? And if so, how many people are in that conversation? Well, I think so. I think they they have a lot of people. I think it's it's like it's so planned out, and they're constantly brainstorming this. Like, there's just no way you couldn't pay. Like, that would be the Mm. dream. I always I have alerts set up for Rolex on LinkedIn, so when there's jobs Mm. that pop up Mm. in my industry, which I'm not going to say what it is, but if it ever popped, I would I'd move to Switzerland for sure. Rolex. <laughs> Look at this. Watch is global. Five dollars. Thank you so much. Pull up Instagram. His things. Let's take a look at his things. And also Grand Seco, two dollars. Rolex prices have come down in Australia. Oh. That's very cool. That's very cool. Oh, Lolex. Look at this. This oh. is kind of for you. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Green I'm thinking wow. about my Porsche guys, like literally that color. Yeah, I'm that's that, so um, cool. Yeah. Oh my god! Look yeah. at these. Oh. I mean, I don't see enough Speedmasters, guys. Come on, man. Oh, this Ooh. <laughs> covering it up. I don't see enough. This is very expensive stuff. Yeah, this guy oh, is skitters, wow. Lord. Man, this guy has. Jeez. Look at that. I wonder if Rolex wraps 5172. it. 5172. Tommy, I, I, I have never wrapped my Porsche. I just do uh, waxes on it. But I do want to get a wrap at some point. 5712. 5712. Wow. I saw someone with the 5712 at the UPS store the other day. What? Yeah, yeah. He was a regular dude. Shorts and a t-shirt with a, with a baseball cap like this. We're in a 5712, which I was just like, damn, dude. Ball, you, know, you, you, you didn't go out to him? No, I didn't. I, I was <laughs> one, I wasn't wearing a watch, two, it's COVID. Ah, but if it right. was a different scenario, I would have been like, you know, you got there hit. was a scenario. I saw a guy with the with the uh, AP Royal Oak at the post office, and he was complaining at like, where is this line taking so long? <laughs> yeah. And I told him, like, dude, it's post office. This is your I first time at post office? I think you can wait, sir. Yeah, but he was wearing AP, right? Total. Yeah. Dude. And, the, and I said, look, nice Royal Oak. And he said, oh, it's a fake one. I was like, oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's disheartening. Like, you can't be such a douchebag with a fake AP. You have to be a douchebag with the real AP. It's the bracelet and the dial case. You can see it from a mile away. Yeah. It's the same with that pad with this 5712. I saw it from, from maybe 12 feet back. Oh, maybe back. shoot. Oh, he's wearing a pad act, dude. This, he has the, 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 the watch that Marco really likes, the Breguet. Yeah, it's a Breguet. Yeah, the that's Breguet. a Breguet tradition, right? Yeah, yeah tradition. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The hammered one. This is the real, this bang per buck mm. Breguet. That doesn't. Uh, is this Breguet 2727 27 on the dial? Is that 27? No, I don't think so. Let's see. What, is, what are people saying? A stunner. Wow. I mean, for him, it's kind of cheap. Like, what, 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 what is this watch has in his doing in his class? Like, he has uh, right Richard here, Miele. Richard Miele, <laughs> 3502. And then he's got that Breguet, the doggy Breguet. That's the Beta watch. This is like 70 grand. I was going to say, and that's like a, considered a salmon dial, correct? Mm, no, I think this is like a gold dial. Is it gold? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just it's not, a sunlight hitting it. Yeah. yeah, this is not a salmon. Yeah. Marco is supposed to, supposed to be sending me one of his watch rolls. He's oh. one. He said I can have it. So I'm like hoping he mailed it today or tomorrow because yeah. I hate my I hate my roll. I want like a uh, better roll. Wow. I'm really hoping he sends it soon. Wow, 5205, man. Yeah. 
<sighs> Amazing. He's putting it on this funky strap. By the way, guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me let me actually uh, so that we don't forget. Let me pull this up. Corona is going to have these limited edition strap ons. I, for sale. I talked about them yesterday. You see right here these. Look at these. They're beautiful. They're going to be selling in one and a half hours. Let me turn my AC off, guys. Hold on. April 30th, uh, 12 p.m. JST time. Okay. So because nobody's watching, uh, yeah. I'm going to leak this uh, so that maybe somebody in the chat who's interested in a green strap. <laughs> uh can get themselves one get on this Jeez. limited edition wait is there a limit how many they're gonna sell oh you want to see it look at this come here come here you saw you don't like it okay she doesn't like japan okay so sad so sad i mean it looks good especially so you have a boss for a school do you like the role yeah it's really good you think it's really you think it's worth the money to everybody out there? Uh oh, I got it at discount. Yeah, of course. Don't buy it retail. You gotta get it when it comes out at, there's discounts at the end of the yeah, month. We get it. Yeah. At the end of the month you can get them for like what, two hundred dollars or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it two hundred? I paid three hundred. JJ scammed me, are you saying? I no, I think at the end <laughs> of the month certain roles What's happening? are like two hundred and I'm looking at the two the two piece roll, by the way. Yeah. The two piece, so maybe it's cheaper. But in your opinion, do you think it's worth the money? Those rolls? Uh, hard to say. I don't think so. You don't think I would, so? I would just keep them on. I got it because it was green and mm -hmm. it's Rolex, and I and JJ sold it to me for cheap because he got like four, mm -hmm. so he discounted me. But um, I wouldn't buy it. You wouldn't buy it. Yeah, it makes no sense. Like, why would you? It's so impractical. Why would you keep it in the roll? Why? So it, no, well, because I move around a lot. I go to yeah. like, I go to houses a lot, so yeah. I need a roll to throw it in my in my uh, carry on bag. Dude, that's like, you, are you gonna keep forty thousand dollars in the roll? I don't have forty thousand dollars worth of watches, Tim. I have like yeah. fifteen max. Okay. Okay. What is this like thirteen thousand dollars max or something? Like that? Okay. So it's not, okay. It's, I think rolls are probably better suited for me. I actually, I'm, I think yours is better. If I if I if I had to be honest, because it's like look, own. it's a bitch. Yeah. So first of all, you open it up, right? Yeah. But then to take it out, it's mm -hmm. like. Yeah, so, so you, I can clip that re cushion look, or Tim's. These yeah. middle parts. Yeah. Let me show you something. These middle parts, they're not connected. You see how it is? Yeah. So when when you take it out, I just like them to sit sitting on the shelf. That way I can just yeah. but here you have to like unbuckle them and then pop yeah. them open, pop them open, right? So then you take them out and then you kinda of have to fight around. But but do you feel it's secured? Like would you feel comfortable throwing that in a bag and then moving like are your watches secure in there? Are you comfortable with them in that role? Ah, good question. Good question. It, Actually, I never fun. thought about it that way. Let me see. If they're... Oh, yeah, yeah. They're secure. They're secure. They're good. Okay. Yes, because you see uh, you see the way they're sitting, right? Yeah. As these flaps... Let me show you another shot. See, as these flaps sit down, right? They're kind of... They're, they're pushing against the, the, the dividers, right? Yeah. So that creates a lot of room between. But if you got a chunky watch yeah. who has a big, big, thick dial, I don't think it's going to be good because it will, the, the dial will protrude. It will touch. Yeah. If it touches the, like the material here, mm -hmm. right? If it touches the material, actually, yeah. fuck, where's the left and right? See, like, see how they're sitting? Mm -hmm. Now, my watches are pretty thin. Yeah. But the Speedy is a thick boy. Yeah, if it's touching the crystal, you can throw it, and then a friend of yours can can jump on it, sit down. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen to it. It's gonna bust it. Oh, um, we got a super chat. Dan, he, hey guys, I got bored easily with my watches after six months to a year. As far as Rolex had the Polar Two, a uh, Polar Forty Two right here, Forty Polar, and Air King. We're discussing and oh, we're discussing. 
and flip them, what Rolex should I go get next? I had the Polar 42 and the Air King, and we're discussing and flipping, discussing flipping them. What Rolex should I get? Okay, so what could he get for the Polar? We 40? are discussing and flip them. No, so so we're discussing. I, I don't know. What does he mean? He I'm says, not 100 percent sure. Yeah, he, he he did a typo. He's just saying we're discussing flipping them. So what he's talking about is flipping the 42, flipping the Air King. No, 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 no. But he gets easily with the watches. So maybe he had the Explorer two, 42. Had the Explorer two. Oh. I think I think I think he had them because see, look, I got bored. I I easily get bored with my watches, right? And okay. after six months to a year. So I think he had the Explorer for. Just please okay. explain it again in the just regular chat. I think what happened was he had this and yeah. the Air King, and he got bored and he flipped them. So the money is gone, or he well, no, I think he them. probably made some money on them. Okay. Well, Tommy is saying that he already sold them. He thinks so. Let's let's live in a world where he mm. already sold them. Yeah. And he got face value for both of them. Yeah. How much is that in total? What is that? Oh, like? He got his money back. Well, eighteen. It's like ten plus 20, seven. Twenty plus. Yeah. Maybe twenty. So let's, let's say in perfect world. Let's say eighteen thousand to be conservative. Okay. If you have eighteen k. Yeah. And those are, I mean, if he sold those Rolex, he's probably bored with Rolex, right? Mm. He has you know what? Maybe he didn't have a fidget spinner submariner. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about it mm -hmm. is that, see, I already had the submariner when I got the Explorer too, right? Yeah. So I had the fidget spinner to mess around with. Mm -hmm. And I think the same thing maybe with you. You did, you're not bored of your submariner. You got oh, bored okay. of your Explorer 1. Yeah. I would never sell the submarine. Ever. Yeah. I think the Explorer One was boring as shit. <laughs> it was such a boring watch. Yeah. It, just, it did nothing for me. The yeah. the the Explorer One, or sorry, the the, the uh, Speedmaster. I'm having a stroke. The yeah. Speedmaster is such an in, more interesting watch in my opinion. Yeah. It has like vintage vibes. You know what I mean? It feels mm. like a pre ceramic, you know, Rolex in my opinion. So it's I don't think you can go wrong with the speedy, especially at the price I paid. Yeah, look, you know what I think he needs? He needs a bluesy. Blue, two tone yeah. bluesy. Yeah. Well, how yeah. about the two tone? How about the two tone bluesy? That'd be cool. That's that's that watch is so fun and yeah. exciting and just it's it's a Rolex at a disco. Is it a good daily though? Can you wear a it's bluesy? Amazing daily if for someone who's fun. Like if you want to have fun. Think the about blue, it. The blue oh, I, 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 will, I will go with Blue Z or the Batman. Blue Z? Or Bat the Batman. Yeah. Root beer? Get a Hulk. Get a Hulk, dude. A, no, it's more expensive, I think. It's Hulk is like 25 now. Is that what they're trading right now? Yeah. Yeah. We'll right here, look at this. 25,000. Oh, for a Hulk? Yeah. Dumb. Ah, uh, it's not worth it. Um, I would go, I would go just regular sub, maybe no. Ah, I would go with a date. Yeah, date. Yeah, date at that point. Uh, because because uh, you gotta be a cool guy like me to have. Look, it. look, the no cool date guys. is is boring. It's for people like see here. You know why you got bored? Because it's a watch. Yeah. When you what, what you need to do is you need to do other things when you have a watch. You need to like research who was wearing it. Uh, you have to look at like. History of the Submariner. You see, if you just want a watch that's nice, this got a fidget spinner on top of it. You will never get bored of it, right? Like Lolix, are you wearing your sub? Do a do a fidget spinner test. I, I honestly have not been wearing the sub as much as I used to. Ah, I gotta be honest with you. I'm still go. I'm still in the honeymoon phase with my speed. Yeah. I think I think. Black Submariner is conservative. If yeah. you want uh, something that's daily, every day, and you have to be undercover. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's not undercover, I think there's nothing more exciting than a two-tone bluesy. Two-tone bluesies, they're just so amazing. You can see Mr. Two has got one, and he is over the moon. He's yeah. over the moon. What's the price on this thing? You can easily get it. Uh, you just f yeah, you flick those two, you combine them, combine the forces. They're, they're so cheap. What the? F 
Those the, have you the, seen these prices? The, the new vintage ones are even cheaper, right? Yeah. Dude, you just get this right here. 14,000, mm. 40 mil. Forget about the new 41. Yeah. Save your money. You that th this price is insane. This is the price that a stainless steel sub 40 goes for. Yeah. What? <laughs> is this real? What? This is retail price, guys. Retail. Everybody wants the 41. Nobody wants the 40 mil subs anymore. That's, That's insane. No, people don't want the 40 mil subs. Dude, you grab the 40 mil. Yeah, yeah, 40 yeah. mil is amazing. Come on. Cool. I got to make, make a call real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Go ahead. I, I need to pull up a link. Uh, there was a link somebody sent me. Hey, here we got Danger Will Robinson says, pull this up. But, you know, I can't pull these links up. Uh, Danger, like I'm going to have to. I can't copy. Can I copy? Uh, oh wait wait wait! I think I yes, you can. You can copy uh, in the because yeah. I was in the stream yard. Uh, here we go. Okay, I can do it this way. Okay, let's just while Lolex is away, we'll take a look at this one. Rolex chronograph and speedometer for Bloodhound. Okay. Sorry, I was gonna call my AD right now. Oh look at this! This yeah. is a, what a modern Rolex dashboard instrument mm -hmm. looks like. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. That's the ecking, ecking design. It's funny. I don't see any ah. gold indices on it. I don't see a gold 369. No, so. no, no. This is, uh, no, no, because it doesn't have. That's a speedometer. Exactly. That's what the Air Kings were. No, modeling. right here, 369 at the bottom. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, I'll, I'll shut up. I know when I'm wrong. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Where, I where is this in? What is this? What is this thing? Oh. It's the bloodhound, yeah. Oh, it's in the bloodhound. See, this is this is what Rolex does. Like they put their branding yeah. in some of the most insane things in the world. Um, this is why people want Rolex. Rolex really subtle with their with their uh, marketing. Yeah, and you know what's the craziest part too? We're in the middle of a yeah. pandemic. There's people mm. dying in India, and yet yeah. these watches are still selling like three to four times over retail. Like, if that's not recession proof, I don't know what is, guys. Mm. Go get a, like, Archie, everybody talks about like, oh, the Rolex type is going to die down at some time. I don't think yeah. it's ever going to die. I think it's yeah. always going to be, this is the new normal for watches. For Rolex. Mm. It's you more know? than watches. Like, Rolex, it's more than just a watch. It's like, it's a status symbol beyond it's i feel even it transcended the status yeah. symbol it's, it's it, because awesome. people are people are not even buying them to wear them to show the status they're buying them to hoard them and possess hoard. them it's the hoarding i would never say this to archie on his channel but rolex is probably on the same tier as a paddock in reality in terms of status symbol you yes. wear a Rolex. No, 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 no. nobody knows what paddock is he, um, it's people are starting to know. People are starting you know to know. What? What so, Lolix, you know what? A, a paddock is a different kind of status symbol. Yeah, that's good wealth. Yeah, I'm telling you, when I was, I was, I was at my uh, AD one time, right? Yeah. And uh, I was just kind of uh, window shopping, checking stuff out, and I see they got they pulled out a screen, a screen, yeah. and they sectioned off the paddocks, right? <laughs> Yeah. And behind it, I see there's like four people. There's like one sales rep, and they got the coffer. The yeah. coffer. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's like this big thing. It opens up, and inside there are trays with all the paddocks. Yeah. That they don't have on the window, right? And these guys, they're drinking like Macallan 18 over there. Wow. And they're choosing which paddock to buy. And they got like my my ad. They got a whole like special secret room. Where the it's like it's like the, the Illuminati. Illuminati, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is nobody's buying Rolex like that. Nobody's buying Vacherons or uh, Gerard Perugues like yeah. that. Paddock, it's actually they don't want their brand to be known. Yeah, it's a it's a different, completely different marketing strategy. It's it's like. People who, want, who wear Rolex, they want everyone to know that they're wearing a Rolex. People yeah. who wear a Paddock want only people who know Paddock 
uh -huh. to know that they're wearing a panic. It's it's just mind games are completely different. I'm taking a bathroom break, guys. Hold on. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. I'm gonna answer some chats. What do you think about this, low, uh, Casey? Casey? Yeah, we should. I uh, what do you think about this situation? The paddock, yeah, 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 versus yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Have you I ever mean, seen a, a paddock being sold? Like, a no, high I don't even paddock. have an 80, I don't even have an 80 here. The, oh. the nearest 80 is actually in another state, yeah. Oh, so, wow, so, yeah, I don't even see them getting sold here. Mm. What, what we see are just uh, gray market dealers that you can see the paddocks moving, yeah. Mm. And recently, we are starting to see quite a few Richard Melee. Yeah. Mm. So, Stuart Logan yeah. says, as travel reopens, disposable income will go to many other areas, and some, not all, Rolex will again become viable at the retail. Exactly. See, part of the reason why Rolex is so hot right now is because Rolex did not increase supply to match the demand because they know. They know the situation. Other brands would be like, <gasps> people are buying their watches. Let's open a second <laughs> factory. Right? Like, <laughs> they would go crazy. And then they would go bankrupt. But because the CEO, he just, he only cares about the next paycheck, the next quarter. But Rolex, they're like, we're, we're just, we actually, we'll slow down the supply. Forget about that. We don't want to, we don't want to be stuck with unsellable stock. Right? <laughs> oh. Uh, Sangmi, so uh, you know what? So I, we were supposed to go to Barcelona uh, this year, uh, but oh well, actually last year, but because of COVID, it was canceled, right? And because we 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 bought room for like two two weeks, was it for two weeks? One week. Oh, one week, one week, and uh, they gave us like a a voucher, basic, and I emailed them today, like oh, we can't make it this year either. Uh, so they they didn't actually give it to us for one, for one more year. They said they're just extending it till the end of the year. So we have to go to Spain, yeah, by the end of the year. There you go. August, make plans. Maybe I don't know. They can't refund you. Huh? I'm gonna <laughs> I don't know. Maybe oh, maybe we'll go. We'll, we'll go in June. Yeah, June. I know you like to go to Italy, but what are you gonna lose this money? No. Yeah, so we'll go to Spain. No chance. They, no, sh no they, choice. They can't refund you. They, they, oh, they were unrefundable when I when uh, I bought them. Okay, Even, okay. but like you know, they should be refundable because it's coronavirus. Who? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. But they said no. They're non refundable. They said we're not refundable. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nasty, nasty, and vicious. So, so we're stuck. Let me ask your guys' opinion on this because I'm mm. dealing with a little okay. bit of a dilemma of mine, right? Yeah. So, my AD, the, and I think I told you guys this already before, but my AD, my sales associate that I purchased three watches through, mm -hmm. he left, he left the store. He doesn't work there anymore. Yeah. Right? So I spoke to the manager briefly about it and she was like, whatever watch he said that he'll get you, I'll get it for you. She blatantly said that to me. And I yeah. told her, I told her, I call her back. That was like about a week ago. I wanted yep. to get on to pick it out. So I, she's not going to give me a Daytona. She's not. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough buying history to get like a, um, a Pepsi or a Batman or something. I don't huh. know if I'm there yet. I got. You should. You should. How long yeah. have you been with this AD? I bought my first watch in 2018, and I flipped both watches that, that they sold me. So I can't even. <laughs> I can't even go in and be like, "This is." A, I can't. Like, I have to. It's got to be a doable get because I've spent the money there. Yeah. So it's already on file. Yeah. But it's mm. doable. I can get you this within like a week type of watch. Or the Batman. Get the Batman. Yeah, the Batman. Yeah. It's a GMT. Yeah. Or ex uh, explore. You have smaller wrists, right? Yeah. yeah. Or two tone Daytona would be cool. Yeah. I was thinking like a Milgauss, to be honest with you. Ooh. Oh, that's too easy. It's e it's easy, but it's not so easy. It's not so easy. It's not that great, yeah. dude. Yeah. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. You get bored of Explorer One. Mm -hmm. You will get bored of Milgauss just as quickly. I'm what sorry. You, you wanted would to know the truth. If I got an Explorer One again, though, would that be dumb? That would be dumb, right? If I did that. Uh, in two tone. 
No, here's the Would thing. Mail? Here's the thing. I was talking to my friend who buys watches too, and yeah. he's saying they're still sending out Explore ah. one thirty nines. He's like, they're still going. Yeah. They're yeah. still going into the stores. He's like, yeah. so you could potentially get another one if you wanted to. So oh. I'm wondering. They probably have a few of them. At the, this is a big yeah. name. I don't, I don't want to say where it is, but it's a big name yeah. flag store. So it's it's a small enough watch to where I could potentially make that happen. But again, it's a thing where it's like, is it worth doing that? Is it worth almost harming a manager just to be like, this yeah. guy spent this much money in the store and he told me he was going to blah, 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 blah. And like, is it worth do, making those type of, Moves. Just, just you know what? You have the sub no date. Get the Batman yeah. with the Jubilee. I don't think have... I bought. Okay, keep in mind this store. And let me just give you oh, a little bit. No, of too difficult. I, whatever. I'll say it's it's the AD on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. Okay, very nice. Uh-huh. Justin Bieber buys his watches there. <laughs> uh, my sister's my sister works in a law firm. She has yeah. she has lawyers that drop hundreds of thousands of dollars in this store. I'm literally yeah. a small fish in this mm. massive pond. Do you know what I mean? I've only yeah. bought like three. I have I got the Oyster Perpetual. I got a Datejust 41 with the fluted bezel. And then my sister, she was a referral. She went in and bought a, a um, what's it called? A date, a Rolex mm. date, the 34 mil. So I'm not heavy hitting at all. I don't think they make those anymore. The do you, Did they stop making them? I don't even know. I don't think so. Rolex uh, date? I don't think that they're discontinued by now. She got it in 2018. It's the date. It's the 34 mil Rolex. Oh, it's gone. Is it's it actually, gone? Uh, yeah. They actually they simplified the line, and now there's either Oyster Perpetual. We've got to like date just. Yeah. Uh oh, maybe. Let's see. See, so see, the date just. Mm-hmm. They don't even have the the smallest date just actually. It's. It's not a date just. It's a date. I know. Wait, hold on. Let's see. If you all. So I don't know where where it, I don't know where thirty one. Thirty one is the small. Maybe it's let's see, women. It's not a thirty. It's I don't 30. think it's. Yeah. I don't think it exists anymore. Uh, watch. There's no date. There's no such thing. I don't think there's. Look, date just oyster perpetual, mm-hmm. sky dweller day date lady date just. She didn't confer. She Pearl didn't Master. even let me know she bought the watch. She just went and did it, and she dropped mm-hmm. my name at the store. Uh, and like, I didn't want to tell her. I didn't want to be like, "You're in, why didn't you call me, stupid? Why would you?" Do lady that? date just. Yeah. It probably was. Well, it was probably a lady date just. No, no, it's not a lady. It's a lady. It's an oyster date. I I have a photo of it. Yeah, I don't think they make it anymore. Yeah. Date is is uh, oyster perpetual date. Yeah. Oh, is there oyster perpetual? Let's see. Maybe it's in the oyster perpetual line. That's what people are saying. Let's see. Oyster Perpetual 31. Uh, wait a minute. Configure. It's not here. Uh, I don't think it exists anymore. 34 is a date. There's no more 34. They, they stopped it? Yeah. It's gone. Uh, you go here. Uh, let's say I'll just take the 36. Uh, click the configure. And then when I get to choose the size, it's gone. It goes 31, 36, 41. Marco's, Marco's in the background, by the way. No, it's, it's, oh, wait, wait, wait. He says, no, it's 36 date. Well, 36 what? Oh, it's called 36 date? No, it's date just 36. I don't know. People are confused. Oh, oh, Marco is here, right? Okay. Let me drop yeah. the link. Okay, maybe a, he'll explain this confusion to us. It's a 34 mil oyster date. Oh, he says no. It's thirty six. It's discontinued. No, date. It's gone. It's gone. Date is gone. It was weird thing. Why didn't you? What is an oyster date? Exactly. Exactly. It's the dumbest thing. It makes no sense. You have a date just, and you have oyster perpetual. That's what is a date? Here it is. It's the Here same it is. as date just. Here it is. I got it. Let me pull you full screen. Yeah. You see that? Perpetual date. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. it's yeah. gonna be a vintage, a collectible, Marco. What's going on, Marco? Did you get a haircut? Date ones are gone, right? What do you think Ooh. of the haircut? You just yeah, got a haircut. Oh, I do something similar to that. I do short on the side, hide my forehead. That's what I tell them. My, my brother did it here. Hold on. Very cool. Very youthful. Um, Save me 30 bucks a month. 
So let's get back to this original topic, Tim. What, how, what, what's the smart play here with the with this AD? I think the smart play is yeah. you ask for. Well, it says they just. Uh, one second, just answering the question. It says that the thirty six says they just. Yeah. Uh, the thirty four probably said just date. Uh, yeah, but that was discontinued. It's gone. It's gone. It, it was. Uh, and JC says he loves your new hair, Marco. Uh, they just 44 was dropped. Okay, uh, glad we figured all of it down. Uh, and Cooler Finn said, Tim, the date was the name of the 34 size. They just, yep, and it's discontinued. And it makes no sense. Why was it called a date? Were they just trying to save ink not to add the just? <laughs> makes no sense. Uh, but yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's weird. It's weird. It's a weird watch because you can see it. Rolex. Fine. It's like the whole range is coming together, right? Everything is starting to make sense. It seems like Rolex has been fumbling around. They had the date, the oyster date, forever. Mm -hmm. I think actually Archie has one of those uh, oyster dates. There's people who are looking at. Sometimes people try to trick you. You go into eBay and you type in date just, but they will put the oyster date. And charge the same money as the date just. You have to be so careful. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's let's sort it out. Uh, now, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? So, what did you, uh, Lolex, again, what did you buy from this AD? All right. I'm going to fill in Marco, even though he's probably. Yeah. Old. Okay. So, I had an AD in a very popular part of LA. High level place. A lot of big spenders there, right? Yes. I purchased. Uh, under my name, technically three watches have been purchased. A Oyster Perpetual 39, mm -hmm. uh, Date Just 41 with a, a fluted bezel, so the more expensive one, and then that Oyster Date that I showed you guys. So three watches have been purchased with oh. this company, right? Yeah. With so yeah. in terms of the location, if it was a smaller AD, I would be like, they would be handing me a Pepsi or whatever the hell. Um, I don't think so. Actually, I don't yeah, think so. I'm exactly. I'm exactly. No, no. So, here's the thing. Yeah. There is a people. People have a lot of misunderstanding between big and small AD. Small yeah. ADs, it's harder to track them, right? So a lot of the small ADs, whatever whatever steel sports they get, they just flick them to the gray market. Yeah. They never give them to a good clientele, and the big ADs. They've got more to lose, uh, and they get more stock circulating through their store. You just need to keep coming back until you get, uh, you know, until you build up enough uh, relationship to get. I would go for the Batman. Mm -hmm. That's going to be. Oh, you're going to actually make me a Marco. We're actually going to make you a Marco. Guys, that's a perfect two meal combo deal. Oh, and keep your speedy. A speedy. Wait, what are, we, hold on, what are we talking about? <laughs> You're talking get about that, Batman. Bat, you Batman. Get a Batman. Yeah, get a Batman. Man, Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Man, I'm going to try on this. This is the type of thing where yeah. what I say you on the explain phone, him. Go, go to them with your shot, wall. I have one listen. shot of demanding something. One shot. No, so it's not. It has to be doable. A Batman, I don't know is doable. You bring Batman. your watch roll with you yeah. and you tell them, I have the Submariner. I have the this Omega, and you tell them, ah, oh, I, I don't like this Omega. I'm I'm hoping to get a Daytona two tone later yeah. in the future from you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, right now, I'm looking to add a GMT before I replace the Speedmaster. I don't know. And you keep coming back with the same story, and you try every sales associate until you connect with someone who who understands your pain. No. understands that you want the GMT, you need a GMT on the Jubilee because you say, I have the Oyster bracelet, and if I add uh, a Jubilee GMT, that's a perfect combination. He's already I, connected I to the manager. Yeah. I, it, okay, it's KC. So, one, I'm going straight to the manager of the store. Yeah. Okay. Like, like, hey, listen, this is my situation. Two, I know what would look good with my collection. A lot of things would look good with my collection, but I'm going from a realistic standpoint, as in stainless steel models, you have two tiers. You have the GMTs, the Daytonas. Subs are kind of there right now too. And yeah. then you have the second tier, which is the Explorer one, the Air King, the Milgauss, yada, yada, yada. Sure. I think it's more doable to get one of the second tier models, the Milgauss, maybe the Explorer one again. 
be mm-hmm. third line no? I think that's a doable get, as in I'd let that manager know, like, hey, listen, so-and-so, we were working on getting me a Milgauss. I told him I needed a few months to get my money together. What were you uh, trying to get with the other salesperson? With the other salesperson, what was I? I was trying to get a sub through him, a submariner, and I got it somewhere else. So Yeah, so you say that you were looking to get a GMT. You were, you say that you were trying to get the uh, mm-hmm. the GMT. Yeah, 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 that's what you say. Actually say that you wanted the, the GMT on the Oyster Bracelet yeah. when you first came. Mm-hmm. But you got uh, uh, some something else. But now that you have the sub, say it was gifted to you or something. I don't know. Uh, come up with the story. Uh, and then say that now I want something to complement this watch. And say that ah, I wish I could get the Explorer 2, but I have small chicken wrists. It's not yeah. going to fit. The only other watch, the only other watch that I think that's possible would be a, some kind of a GMT Master 2. Yeah. And it's the smart. most attainable one is the Bruce Wayne. Marco, what do you think? That's crazy, right? <laughs> I think Toyota Mo hit the nail on the head. Yeah. You tell him you have a no date sub, you'd like a date sub 41 mil. I think that's the play. Bruce Wayne might be a bit. Because uh, if you're in LA, man, LA is such a tough market. Yeah. That's my that's only I'm like there. Like, competing against Justin Bieber. I'm right. competing against the weekend. Don't underestimate yourself. Dream I'm not even big. I'm not even like... exaggerating this. I'm competing against Usher. I saw Usher leave the store once. I'm not going <laughs> to. And they tell him, excuse, excuse me, sir. We don't have. Uh... Is that, uh, Alex <laughs> Walkaholic here. Alex lives next to me. He knows what it is there. It's a Rolex slash protect store, dude. They have. I'm a small fish, dude. I think the Explorer one is easy. Ed Roden has hundreds of rich clients are waiting for sport. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. They don't really want to sell this those watches to those clients. They're not eager to sell them. They want to. Uh, they want those clients to buy more, like date just from them before they sell the, uh, before they sell them the, the, the Bruce Wayne. It's not about. See, Rolex does not, they don't really kind of, they don't really care how rich you are. In fact, that hurts your chances because if you're rich enough to buy a full gold day date, yeah, then what the hell? Why would they sell you a Bruce Wayne? Why would they sell you a Bruce Wayne if you have the, if they know you have the money to buy a full gold sky dweller? But if you don't have the money, Lolex, if you can't afford a full gold uh, sky dweller, then they'll sell you the Bruce Wayne. So you're thinking about it wrong. You're thinking that they're Usher and uh, Bieber. They're, this is what the diamond encrusted day dates are for. They're not going to sell a, a Bruce Wayne to Bieber. Why? Why would they sell it to Bieber? Excuse me, Bieber. We don't they're have it in the store, Bieber. but we have this full baguette. They're diamond dial encrusted wants it dude all right that's why they got it there in case the beeps calls and says no, hey no I'm no they don't no they don't listen uh, look rolex i think i bought more rolex watches that than you i know who they want to sell to listen trust me I've it's not about how much money share. they have listen my man i've purchased my fair share of watches and i got a relationship with a lot of ADs. yeah i know what i'm in the mix i think the play is going to be i'm going to see if what they say about a 39 mil, the, the Explorer one. See if they have the old model. I know I had it and I sold it, but I'm just going to gauge them and see what they say. Because if, if she's like, they're gone, we don't have them, we can't get them for you. Make a mistake. I'm going to respond with, well, what am I supposed to do now? I'm going to be like, I had a plan with the sales associate. How am I supposed no. to proceed? Because I want to no, buy. No. Say, say you were working to get the Bruce Wayne. You have the Submariner which is on the oyster bracelet. You wanted the combo meal deal, the yin yang. You wanted to be complete and satisfied in life. Bieber is not there. He's not interested. <laughs> yeah. In these Parker, Bruce can you, Wayne's. Parker, can you talk some sense into Tim? Because he's living in panic. <laughs> Guys, he's living in La La Land right now. Well, well how did I get the Dude, panda? How did they get listen. the Pepsi? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not really ready. believe you that you were able to talk your way into a panda. It had nothing to do with talk. I would never be able to afford it otherwise. 
listen, there's something you're not telling us. There's a man that you fa- that you have blackmail on. You <laughs> exactly. Doing, you you need to know. sort of gay club or something, and you were like, I'm going to tell your wife. Right. Tell me a panda. <laughs> I'm going to call your wife right now. You better sell me a panda. It was, it was literally something like that, dude. Think I, about uh, that. Do you think someone blackmailed an AD that he's literally like following? 100%. Your- <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then like... I know about your problem. I'm going to call your boss if you don't sell me a Pepsi. (laughs) Oh, man, that's so funny. I'm going to do that. I'm going to blackmail an AD. I know about your girlfriend on the side. I will ruin your life. (laughs) That would be a Samariner right now. (laughs) Oh, my God. Samariner, get a panda, 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 panda. Yeah, I know, right? At that level, you're just like, you're going to tell them I spent a lot of money. For Tiffany OP, triple over retail. Guys, yeah. guys, I think, I think, uh, oh, by the way, if you're watching the show, please Thank make you. sure to like, comment, and subscribe, Thank and check out my membership me. program. Thank you. The what? I forgot to upload, actually. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, this is what the reminders are for. I mean, we enjoy it. We come onto the stream. Sometimes we forget. So, And let me just drop the link. If anybody is using iPhones. Uh, to check out the membership program, the Discord. Marco, how come you're still not on the Discord? JJ is already what on. Am I, what am I going to do with that Discord for? Tim, you're cannibalizing your WhatsApp group here. No, no, dude. It's going to... It's. I actually have the old WhatsApp group in the Discord. <laughs> it literally says old WhatsApp. It's going to be amazing because... Do you want to wake up to a thousand messages? Yes. A thousand... <laughs> I don't go through them all, but you know, it's next. Dude, trust me, just get it, just so that you have it installed on your phone and uh, and check it out. It's amazing. JJ joined. He is confirmed. He is now part of cast and crew. Now it actually like next to your name it says, you get designation. Lolex, how come you're not on Discord yet? What's going on? Oh, I think you so long. I've been so busy with work. Dude. I set up Lolex Garage. People saying there's Lolex Garage, but Where's I'll, Lolix? Hold on, Tim. You sent it to me in the WhatsApp, right? You direct messaged me about it? No, I'll send it to you in WhatsApp. No, it, message me in WhatsApp and I'll, I'll message you. I'll I message you. Right. You know, I, can you explain Discord to me? What is it? Is it like a secured chat room that people, like, what is the point of a Discord? Okay, I'll show you real quick. I'll show you real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but here we go. Uh, so here I'll bring it up full screen. Yeah. See, what it is, it's an organized WhatsApp. So you see, there's the old WhatsApp. You click here, and you're in the old WhatsApp. And you can just talk. And what's really cool, you can actually react to a comment. If somebody says something, like Night Wist Watchman said something, you can click on React, and you can give him a thumbs up. Like You like that. Uh, so this is the old WhatsApp. There's Mr. Right. Two's place. See, look, there's a Lolex garage. You can go in here, and there's people posting cars. So everything is separated. So not everything is not on top of each other. Okay. Uh, I, you can have I'm fragrances. On my, I'm uh, on my section. Phone. Was that bad? Uh, no. no, no, it's even better. It's even better. And look at this. At the bottom of here, general talk, you have voice chat. So, like, you have texting chat. You have a voice chat. So there you go, I think. I'm that not, should be I'm in, a, I'm in it now. I, it's Tim Tim cool. right backstage. Yeah, and make sure that when you read the rules, guys, when you read the rules, you have to click the green button at the bottom to accept to follow the rules, and then you can click to uh, to choose which region you're from. Okay, and it will assign you. So as you can see here, Conrad, he's a he's a cast and crew, and he's from North America. It's very cool. Okay, I'm gonna. I have to sit down and go through this, but I'm like yeah. finishing up an assignment. But uh, anyways, yeah. So we're. I think this is the ad is, break. That was the ad break. Let's back start back on track, me. guys. Yes. Here we go. Let's do that. Let's start blackmailing. Let's go. Me. Let's go from Toyota. Mo. Everyone walks into AD and says, "I want a tier one Rolex." Yeah. <laughs> That's not how to do it. Start with the day just or lower tier. That's how to start. Yeah, you start with the day just. Smooth bezel, oyster bracelet, black dial, or Wimbledon dial, or white dial. That's your introductory. So, for example, here. The, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go. This is how you start. If you want to start, this is a one of the best watches to get. Is Datejust 41. 
and let me show you. Let me show you how to how if I was today and I had to go in and build a, a collection, right, from scratch, right, knowing what I know today in in this impossible universe, right. This is what I would do. I would go with this kind of dategest. I prefer. Uh, personally, I prefer Oyster Bracelet, but Jubilee is a great alternative. Now that the Pepsi is both a Jubilee and the Oyster, it makes no difference how you I start. I don't think a Datejust will get you, will buy you credence with an AD. No, hold on, hold on. This is how you start. You get the Datejust. Wait, actually, let me make it bigger. I would go, like, see, you can go any dial. White dial, uh, like, blue is harder, but you can get the Wimbledon. Wimbledon is cool. Black, uh, or black dial. People don't black, want it. Black dial is gorgeous. People don't buy this, but I think it's awesome. This is a killer watch. Yeah. You start with this, and then from here you ask for a sub. And uh, you ask for, I would go for sub. You can go, so see, if you went with the black, then you get a second black. But if you got the black date just, then I would go for the bluesy. A two-tone bluesy. Right? That way you got a blue dial and the black dial then from here you go for bruce wayne stainless steel stainless steel on jubilee that's a perfect three piece feed feed okay that's how i i that's a perfect collection it's very respectable you have very different watches you could go about it a little bit differently right but uh you start with the day they just is the backbone you can go date just and then go for Explorer One, no, uh, just stainless steel. You can go for no date. So, for example, if you went with the white dial date just, right? Then you can go for Submariner stainless steel uh, with no date. That way you have a date just white and the Submariner black. Or you can go, for example, you can start with the Submariner. Oh, sorry, sorry, not Submariner. Date just, let's say Wimbledon, and then you can go for Explorer Two. Um, yeah, explore too, and you can go depending on which one you got first. If you got the white day just, you go for the black explore too. If you got the black uh day just, you go for the white explore too, guys. That way, I you build variety. I don't mean to come off topic, but I just I didn't even realize it until like about an hour ago. But yes. it's my birthday this Sunday. Woo! I didn't even, I didn't even realize it until today. Do I knew about it. Like PayPal link, today. do you have a oh, PayPal link? <laughs> We're no. gonna do when this Sunday. This Sunday, it's my birthday. Okay, we have to do realize. we have to do a birthday. And do you do you have a PayPal link? I do have a PayPal link. I need to put a better one together, but I do have a PayPal. Okay, so put it together. We'll do like a special. Uh, no one's gonna give me money. <laughs> why not? You're a cool guy. People would I love to help you out. Look, even a couple hundred dollars to then, and then you go to a dinner and you celebrate. You make a vid. It'll inspire you to make a little vid. Maybe you buy a bottle of some ex uh, some exotic uh, whiskey. If someone, all right, if people donate money, whatever half of it is, I'm gonna donate it to. Uh, I'll give it to a homeless person on the side. Of the <laughs> I'll literally videotape. It, so I'd be like, I made this Crazy, much. Man, there's money for you, sir. Where's the I first think? homeless person you see? Is there a place to give money to India right now for COVID? Is there like uh, a? No, th all those things are scam. I Just know. give it to Red Cross. Red Cross. Isn't Red Cross a scam too? I read some. Uh, no, no, Red Cross is good. It's Cooler not. Fiat. This. Oh, actually, uh, Charity Water. Give it to Charity Water. Mm. Mm. Charity. Hey, that's that's a good excuse for you to ring up your AD tomorrow. My birthday is this Sunday. Casey. Yes. Fucking okay, I totally forgot. I didn't even think. Sorry, Tim. Yeah. Amazing. I didn't even think about that. See, I. Yeah. I'm not even trying to think about my birthday because I'm turning 31, so I don't even want to. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's not even cute. I'm, an, I'm a man now. I'm not even a... Mm. Marco, enjoy your 20s, man, because they fly by. Let me tell you. Fly by. You know, <laughs> when, uh, Lolix, when I turned 30, I started having this throat problem. Really? Yeah. And you know, I started a diet two days ago. I'm only eating 1,600 calories, guys. Me too. I'm, well, not 1,600, but I'm on the lean cuisine. I don't think you eat that. You, I don't even think you eat that much. Bro, I'm like trying to get yoked out here, bro. I just oh, yeah. Out. But, um, but I have acid stop. reflux now. I'm an old man. I have acid reflux. That me too. Stop. That's what the doctor said. Acid reflux. 
I'm on a pill that I take. I probably, oh, no, no. Mine is not that bad. But I think it's not so much acid reflex for me as a fat ass reflex because I'm eating so much and so much (laughs) spicy food. Yeah. You saw I I had a shelf with like eight different spicy, uh, uh, what's it called? Sauces. Yeah. And the the doctor said, Do you drink a lot of coffee? I'm like, Yes, that's all I drink. I drink coffee instead of water. He's like, What the frick? They told me to stop. They said, No more coffee. Yeah. I, I was like you. I drink like five or six cups a day. I'm down to one in the morning, and that's it. I can't have any more than by that. By the way, I stopped by the AD. They gave me a bottle of water. This is the AD water. Man, delicious. It tastes like Rolex, guys. Clean, yeah. fresh. So I'm thinking yeah. Sunday. I want to do a stream for my birthday. I want to yeah. do a stream somewhere. We oh, you want? Uh, you want to? Uh, I don't think we, we can't do it on your channel because you haven't I done any streams. I would do it some like let's. We do can on. do it on Marcos. Marco, Marco, Marco's sure. dreams usually bring in a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do a birthday stream and then we'll do maybe a game or something. Maybe we should but do we'll all like- birthday streams on Marco's channel. How Marco's funny would channel. that be? <laughs> That'd be so yeah. cute. I, I'm down. I, I want to do a game or something. Let's yeah. do like a, like a quiz show or something. Oh, and by the way, this the Discord... I was literally today. I was when I was in the city, right? I had the Discord open, yeah. and I was on. I had the headphones in, yeah. And literally, people can come into the chat room, talk mm-hmm. to me, and then just pop out, pop in, pop out to talk to me. Wow, it's so amazing! And you can actually. I was listening to music. I had some a little bit of music playing, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, Discord is freaking amazing. You get access, access. Oh, let me see it. Did you join? Let me see. Uh, I, did. I, mean, I did. I think I did. Oh, by the way, Van Lux. Is Van Lux in the in the chat? Van Lux. I'm sure. can, no, I don't see it. Wait, Tim, did you buy your Corona strap? Oh. No, no, yeah, I can't find it. It's one hour later. It's one hour later. Guys, it's one no. hour later. What the frick? You scared the hell out of me. It's uh, no, you, it's, you say that an hour ago. No, 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 no. It's t- it's t- it's only ten. It's only ten p.m. All right. It's in one hour. It's twelve p.m. It's twelve a.m. in an hour. Uh, no, in Japan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Japan. It's available in an hour from now. Yeah. Come on, you Why all you scared it, the though? hell out of me. How much can you call? share? Can you share Wait, the what? link? I can't even find it. Oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna drop the link. Command C. Well, why would you buy this? Thing. I don't understand. Why would why would anybody want to buy this? Yeah, why? It looks cool. Yeah, Tim, like how are much you really is the Park Jack strap? Sell, you want to buy this to sell for a profit? Park and Jack. Let me just check Bark and Jack. Real quick, how much does his strap-ons cost? Straps, calfskin. It's the same price. So we're talking about a Bark and Jack strap versus Bark Corona strap. I mean, they're both good. The I think Mark is, uh, and Jack partnered with some amazing guy to do these. Yeah, this is TNH, Theo and Harris. Oh, that's shit. Because it's got it's got uh, it's got calf on the other side. You see that? That's this? that mean yeah, that reduces the lifespan of a of a strap. No. Want, like very good straps are like Theo and Harris, Jean Rousseau, they'll have leather on both sides. Uh, they last a lot longer. Like right. they're triple the lifespan. Question. I- yeah. Should I, do, should I do Edward 40 hands for Sunday stream? I'm just get Are you crazy? I can I haven't done that since I was in my 20s, but I will risk my body for that. Oh fuck. If people you are just brave so. get blackout drunk and say bad words. Common mm. in, common in the stream. I'll consider it. I, I've <laughs> done 20 hands once, but that was as far as I went cuz that's oh, just I that drank- much beer is disgusting. It's yeah. actually really disgusting. Yeah. Like it doesn't even taste good. You know what I mean? Because beer, like stringing beer like that, gets so warm too. Oh, it's awful. It's terrible. Yeah. It don't even remind me of it. Yeah, Tommy, his strap-ons are basically the same price because they're one hundred and twenty. Pa- uh, well, sorry about that. They're one hundred and twenty, one hundred ten pa- Great British pounds. Which That's is the roughly, same price as the Theo yeah. and Harris ones. Which it's is also and a very similar order. price to these these limited edition Corona, which are very unique. You see, it's got yeah, like it, they look like bamboo sticks. Look, yeah, yeah, and it doesn't have a buckle as well, so you need to add your own buckle. Yeah, you need to buy your own buckle. 
Wow. And this is great for those people who have Kermits or uh, Kermits or uh, Hulks. Hulks. You can slap it on a Milgauss Z Blue. Let's see. It. Let's see. Theo and Harris. Oh, these look bad. I gotta be honest. There's something. No, it's just the no... color. Yeah, the colors. Is... Right, but yeah, it's different. Like different colors, obviously. They it has a lot weird. of variety. The buckles are, look really the type cheap. One? Wait, scroll down again. No, no. no I want to really see the different. back. What yeah, you see that? That's that's leather. Ah. That's when you know it's a good quality strap. Okay. But you pick the worst one. To... <laughs> That's you pick literally here. Scroll down. Scroll down. He's not sponsored. You see that can't... second Which one? one? That this one. This one. The second one. The this second one? one. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Archie has that one. Oh, on Archie. His, uh, JJ oh. Lecou. Yeah, it's got quick release spring bars. It's beautiful. It's really nice. What? Why did the buckle look so cheap and nasty? No, they're good. They're really good. They're John really Rousseau good. is amazing. Probably one of the best trap makers in the world. Uh, what is that? Oh, John Rousseau. Ooh. Ooh. I, it's kind of cool that, that Theo and Harris didn't put Theo and, and Harris on the buckle. But, right. but you know, when they have it laser etched like that, that just... Well, I think it's just a retailer, technically. And that he'll come up with no, like the strap are, color idea. Guys, these are Chinese-made buckles that they laser etched. JR into. They're not like custom made. Oh, but the bottom looks freaking amazing. I would actually want them to make custom buckles. That would be so cool. But these are just like generic buckles. Generic good quality buckles that they laser edged into. Yeah, drop a link in the private chat uh, Tim. So for that, what? Uh, uh, for another company doing straps. Ah, so I, I found okay. this yesterday. Yeah, they, they have some funky colors and design. Let's see this. Wait, I don't have any strap on. Oh, oh, this looks like something JJ Lacoud has. This looks very similar to the JJ Lacoud's. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, very interesting. For the speedy, yeah, this literally looks like what JJ has. Samuel Vintage and Co. Huh? It's pretty cool, and pretty cheap as well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's really cheap. Surprisingly. Yeah. Hmm. Well, they have a lot. There's too many. There's too many. This is a problem. Whenever I see something like this, when there's so many variety. So much variety, I'm, I get worried. Let's see this one, eighteen and twenty. Now, the, now uh, here's the thing: there's a big problem right now because the Rolex moving to twenty one, twenty two mil. All these straps become useless. Did you guys realize this? The new Submariner, yeah. it's twenty one mil, right? Mm -hmm. All these straps makers, they're screwed. Everything no, is just different. Make a 21 mil. I know, but you know, if you had a whole collection of 20 mil sized straps, now you have to buy a fight. whole new collection. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine <laughs> there would be like a guy who has like 20 different straps for his sub. And you get the new sub and it's just like too big. Six straps. Then you have to wear them like like uh like bond, you know, with the <laughs> now. Where the strap like imagine you're small. a pet collector, you buy like six straps for it. You yeah. need to offload used straps. Yeah, I mean you might as well just give them away. Oh <laughs> yeah. Just give them to fans. Sell. No, give it to give it to the guy you sell the watch to. I mean, there's yeah. no way you're selling a used strap like that. Yeah. Damn. Ouch. Mm. Let's see, what 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 else he has here? That's it? Those are the Wait, home. Word. Oh my god. Bad. Shitter. Mm, yeah. Fuck, I hate NATOs, guys. I cannot stand NATOs. I don't know about you guys. 
they just feel cheap and nasty. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence about them. If I had like four to five watches, I think I would have one on a NATO. Wait, this doesn't even look like a proper NATO. How is this a NATO? Am I missing something? How's the watch held in there? It's not. It's from the other side. Actually, no. you're right. How the hell? What? What the hell? Yeah, these no, are just... single pass straps. Yeah. Oh these single pass straps. Yeah, I wouldn't be. Yeah, I don't like that. That's very dangerous. Yeah. You're, you're just. Seems... When you take the watch off, it just flops to the ground. Right. Imagine it's like that head hits uh, on the, the, the bars. Ooh. It's really bad. Actually, I would never buy it. Yikes. I don't know. Yeah, what holds the watch in place? For real, actually. It, it, it looks as if it's not really sitting there, but actually it's very tight once you oh, fit it in. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. It, it doesn't move around. Yeah. Because it's thick or what? Yeah, correct. Because it's thick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, so to answer that guy, he th did you hear about that? Uh Marco, what did you think about this? He get he sold Explorer 2 and Air King. Now he's got the money left over, I guess, from both of them. I told him, look at this. Look at this. Marco, what do you think about this? Yeah, it's a good buy. I think so. Wait, but why did he sell the Explorer 2 and the Air King? He said he was bored. It wasn't fun. Okay. What's his collection? Well, I don't know, but I think no, no, none. He doesn't have anything. Not anymore. He sold it. Ooh, he Probably needs a sub. Computer. Get a sub. Yeah. Steel sub. Steel sub. Yeah, I said steel is cool, Be and because it's got a fidget spinner, it's something that's yeah. more a little bit better. Exactly. You get but, to. But if he's easily, if he easily gets bored, I think the two tone is something you never get bored of. I mean, this thing is just flashy AF. It's it begs attention yeah if you got bored of air king and export you you'll just get get something a little bit bolder you know what i mean mm. Mm. definitely agree with you tim yeah yeah and the money and the price i can't believe did the prices come down for this thing actually let's, let's look at the price uh if there is oh no they're still what oh i think they came down guys because they were like at sixteen thousand. And now they're back down to fourteen, which is a great price. That's a retail, it's retail price. Look at this. Yeah, that's a pretty good price. What an amazing watch! A What's blues. the year? What's the? Year? I think it was 2018. twenty eighteen. This one is twenty seventeen. That's pretty good. You still got yeah. two years, or a year. Box and paper. Yeah, it's not bad. What an amazing piece! What an amazing piece! Lolex. It's up. Now, you're never going to get rid of your no date, right? So no. a two-tone is out of the question. Two-tone's in play, but I got to be honest with you, right? So two-tone for me just doesn't feel wearable. It just mm. not at this point in my life. I don't feel personally comfortable walking around with a bluesy. Or Blingy. It's too much. It's too much. Too loud, yeah. I wouldn't feel like being in a bar or a restaurant. I just don't like that type of attention. I'm more subtle person. So watch for attention. Yeah, it's it's a it's it's a total attention watch in my opinion. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Maybe nah. wrong kind of attention. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm not a yeah. big guy. Someone will roll up on me for you sure. You want to be divorced several times? Yeah, that's, that's a great old... watch to attract something like that, right? Yeah, it's an older man's watch. That's why I love the Air King so much. I love yeah. everything. It's just the fucking. It's the dial layout. What is wrong with it? I don't still get it. To be honest with you, I'm still like kind of. When I see it from time to time in stores, yeah. like, hey, mm. would, it be, would it be crazy if I pulled the trigger on this? Air I, King? Yeah, yeah, I would get an Air King, honestly. But like, you have to understand, the Air King, there's a purpose to that dial, right? Yeah. And it, it's because it's supposed to be a pilot's watch, right? Yeah. Uh, and what, what do pilots need to be? They need to be on time. For example, you look at your sub, right? It's just got these markers for hours. You can actually tell a wrong time mm -hmm. by 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 like so for example, let me actually put it straight, okay? So you look at your time and you will never be confused. Where is it? Is it between the 10 yeah. and uh, 15 
or is it between 15 and 20? You will never be confused about what time it is that you're looking at. Whereas if you look at the sub, sometimes you can be kind of wrong by five minutes. It's a really this it really like, is a cool watch. It really is a cool watch. Yeah. Very underrated. It's just, man. I would consider it as a third piece. It has honest. a purpose. It has a purpose. I would, I would consider it over at Explorer One. For mm -hmm. real. I honestly would. I think it's man, it's the tops. It's very cool. Uh Evan H two dollars. What do we make of this the timepiece gentleman? slash ac3 collaboration hey any anything for views right i uh yeah i have no idea where it's going uh it's just it it's gonna be great it's, it's gonna be really fun let's be honest uh it's probably gonna go nowhere it's gonna be a lot of fighting uh if you guys like entertainment uh, not wristwatch entertainment, but drama kind of entertainment. If you love drama, I think uh, you can expect a lot of it. Um, My question is, are they going to do a live stream together? If so, are we allowed on it? Or is it going to be like a one-on-one -on -one type of vibe? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but I would love to, to do uh, a timepiece gentleman powered live stream. Marco, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Do you have the hot gossip, Marco? Do you know the insights? What's going on? Stuff is brewing, guys. It's cooking. <laughs> Being cooked up. Do you have any 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 leaks? Anything yeah, you can leak to us? Drop the leak, player. Uh, well, not that I know of. I mean, I know they're going to collaborate. Archie's trying to get them to get do some fridge advertising. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want him to uh, come on a live stream. Come on a live stream. Yeah. Was it actually him in the... Yeah, we never the... confirmed. We never confirmed that. Yeah, it's impossible. He knows about Mr. Toon's place and all that stuff. Yeah, I think if he was troll, he would have been more trolly. But it's hard to say. Like, it, he was very... the. the the way he his comments were very coded, so it's really hard to say who it right. was. Right, it's, it's very tough to uh, to discern. Mm. It was if it was a troll, he was playing it really smooth. Right, right, right. And like, oh, I can't come on to the live stream right now because I'm busy. Like, what, really? And you can't see who he's uh, subscribed to either. Really? Wait a minute. Why? Um, what do you mean, why? What if I can you, can you see what channels he subscribed? I don't think he subscribed to anybody. Oh, you mean well, Timepiece Gentleman? Oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, he probably keeps it private. Right. Um actually I don't think you can see what which channels I'm subscribed to. But I have a section where I have all of our good friends' channels listed. Like that a Mac Jones got drafted by the Patriots, who cares? He's trash. Evan H two dollars. It's gonna be a disaster, guys. I mean, if it's going to be anything like uh, like Archie Luxury and uh, Tony Nico collaboration, um, because here's the thing, uh, Archie gets really triggered by like displays of wealth, and it, it really it it's really not healthy for him. And if Timepiece Gentleman like kind of shows off some of the, I don't know, he's doing well. Or I, I mean, we don't know. Most of that stuff could be kind of uh, leased. Leased. He could be in a lot of debt. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, YouTube doesn't really make that much money uh, from what for what what the Timepiece Gentleman is doing, but it could turn nasty really quickly. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen, I've seen what Archie can do. Yeah, he multiple get, times. He can get triggered very easily, so it's got to be very ginger. On somehow, how, Lola, like, somehow I'm always on the brunt end of the <laughs> of his breath. Buddy, I think I get it pretty much every time I come on. Every time yeah. I come on, yeah, Archie starts the stream in two ways. He'll start yeah. by saying why a Porsche is a waste of money. 
and then he'll end it by saying what, what he would give to have a Porsche. It always, it always goes, it starts with him going, they cost so much money for the tires, you're spending money on oil, da 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 da, and then towards the end he's like, man, I would kill them. It's every time, every time. And then 80s music somewhere in between there. <laughs> Look at this, Alex. Uh, Alex K. Is it more disaster than TGV and Tim Masa collaboration? That was. I'm so happy. I was alive for that collaboration. I gotta be. I gotta be honest. I was watching that. Did they? By the way, did they pull that stream? Or is it still live? If anybody can double check where uh, where it's live, Tim Masa and uh, uh, Jubilee. The jingly don't jangly. Actually, huh? I don't even know if it's still up. That's that's the question, because see, they're really good at playing this YouTube game. They know that if they don't acknowledge the trolls, the trolls kind of you don't feed the troll, it kind of kills them. So, and they could they could have been like they they're like okay, this is a disaster. Let's shut it all down. We'll slowly phase TGV away from the channel, and then a couple of months later, we'll pull the content it's very strategic i'm not strategic to that to that level but that's i wonder i wonder i i i i think they probably pulled it like there's no point of them holding it up uh, and somebody has to go and double check cool if you and tim the type of guy uh, to hit share button on something hub.com yes yes i am by the way, we need to add some more NSFW stuff into the NSFW section. If only we had LJK, LJK. What a legend. The myth. Uh, pound the drum. <laughs> uh, Tim, pull up the price of Air King and 39 Explorer 1. Not even close, Lolix. If you can get thirty-nine millimeter exploit one, get it. Yep. But here's the, but thing, here's the thing. From a price standpoint, yes, I would be a fool not to get the explore one. But from an aesthetic standpoint, and just what I personally, not only that, I like the Air King. Just the construction feel of it. I like the dial size. I like the brace it tapers. It, it feel. I personally just like that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So if I was going to go in and, I mean, I don't know. It's 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 up in there. But if they offered, if I called that AD and they were like, and I had the money and they were like, we have an Air King right now, I would be like, okay, I'm gonna come look at it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at it. Actually, pound the drum. The problem is, is you're thinking long term. You're thinking about now. If Air, if Air King gets discontinued, yeah, you we know. don't know where it's going to lead. So I wouldn't like Air King is more unique than Explorer One. So I wouldn't be so hasty. Like you have to think long terms. Yeah. Paul, that won't be real timepiece gentleman. He's a fake. I don't know who you're emailing or if that's real. But no, no, but the stud actually was in contact. But the stud sold the uh, timepiece gentleman, the, the, the John Mayer. Yeah, John Mayer. Yeah, actually, I mixed up uh, but the stud with Brian BKT and, and I mixed up Brian BKT with Brian BK. It's all <laughs> biked, guys. I'm sorry, all those three gentlemen. I'm sorry. Your names are all Brian, BK, something. TGV got buried in comments. But I wonder if those comments are still there. It's I'm very curious. Uh, it's uh, TGV is so irrelevant. His channel sucks so bad these days. Same old. Uh, oh, some old days were decent. Yeah, you know, if you didn't have, like, here's the thing. Five, you go five years ago. There was really not that much wristwatch content out there. It was just like TG. It was just Archie, TGV, and a bunch of other losers. And now every Fiker is doing it. Like me, I'm doing it. What the hell? Like there's too many people. There's so it's the market is oversaturated with uh, with punters talking about watches. Uh, and you, you where. Where you you went to TGV and he get, gave good advice. Now now, the public is much more educated. It's they for go shitters. there. That's the yeah. problem. Yeah, you and like, but in the absence of the knowledge that those are shitters, 
people would went there and they'd be yeah, like, Tim, that catches up to you, right? Don't forget that he's been doing YouTube now for what four or five years. Yep. I mean, sure, he has the most subs of I mean, more all the like six years, I think. Okay, but it's irrelevant, right? The idea yeah. is people like get to learn and and grow up, and their tastes yeah. evolve and change, especially in the watch community. Because yeah. once you realize those shitters aren't worth buying, then you're like, wow, this guy just recommended me a bunch of shitters that I can't sell or I'm losing a bunch of money on. Mm. And then what happens? You stop taking oh. his advice. That's why. You look at his analytics. He's dead. His channel is dead. Dude, his EDC videos are the worst. And he may he also made some like style style videos. I mean, I'm not the most stylish guy. I'm not. I I'm not, I don't pride myself on style. But come on, man. Who who <laughs> who thinks that it's like classy or or something? It, it's faux. It's faux rivets. It's faux rivets. Man, I I think he dropped an EDC video, and I just I skipped to just see what was in the kit. It's just ghastly, ghastly EDC. I actually should make an EDC videos just as a practice on how to make videos. How do Federico go uh, going to Watchbox and whole buying views or deal? Remember that? Actually, I don't remember that. How was that? Can somebody tell me? Somebody who was alive during that era should come onto the show and tell us what it was like because I missed that. I missed it. Wait, what era? Wait, what did you miss? When Federico was trying to collaborate with uh, with well, Watch they did, Party. and then oh, Federico. Well, he did that. He was in What You Want, though. I'm pretty sure, right? It was I have no idea. Box. I there it was is free watch box. I'm pretty sure. I remember I did land on one video when when Federico was at the Watchbox studio, and they were talking about something really boring. And uh, and yeah, I kind of turned it up. Like Gerard Perrigay, Piaget, because that's what Federico used to sell. Oh, by the way, I pulled up. Uh, so Federico, uh, let's see, he, he made this the, not the latest video, but by the way, he, can I just say something very quickly before we yeah. get uh, to this? Tim, there was a Ming 1901 that was up for sale for sixteen thousand Canadian. It's already reserved and gone. One day to, to sell, not even twenty four hours. Was it that with the clear, with kind of clear dial on the sides? That the one you dropped right, in? The right, 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 right. Ooh. So basically, his his video. So we have the main Nautilus. We have the main Nautilus. Ten X three four minutes. And then what is he wearing? Here's the thing. He 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 complains about. Explore. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, unsellable. It's garbage. It's ghastly. And then he, he has the goal to co complain about the Explore 2 release. Are you kidding me? This is a crime against humanity. You know how you, you talk about uh, the, that shit caught up to uh, uh, TGV? What the hell is this? This watch is dog shit. Seriously, guys. Come on. Shooter. And he's wearing it because obviously he can't sell I mean, it. Didn't he say Grand Seiko was going to be better than Rolex? Oh, yes, pal. We, where did Gun Zap go? Gun Zap is so good. Oh, oh, guys, if you haven't watched those vids, you got to go watch Gun Zap. Wow. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Man, it's also kind of sad. Archie hasn't been doing these uh, response videos to... Uh, Federico and TGV, unfortunately, has been busy, busy, busy. But uh, those, those were so fun. I remember the gun zap days. Oh, those were so awesome. Best. I actually remember yeah. the moment uh, when uh, Bark and Jack dropped the Christopher the Ward Bruma. video. Secret Club. I was getting on the train and I replied to, to Bar I, I, I messaged to, to, like, I left a comment to Bark and Jack, like, saying, What the frick is this? You're lying. This is dog shit. And he uh, he replied to me like, oh, why are you being so negative, et cetera, et cetera. And then he pulled the video. Yeah, because he got so much negativity. And then Archie Nonsense, dropped. Tim. Yeah. Tim, YouTube is forever. You can't, uh, you can't, uh, you mm. can't walk back statements that you make. Yeah. That's why you got to be sure when you say it. Hmm. 
<laughs> but the funny way th these guys they go about it they're like they delete the video and they pretend like it never happened that's so that's bad form in my opinion i think you should be able to make mistakes learn from your mistakes and uh you know get, you know give better advice in the future i think with getting this two-tone explore one is going to be something that i'm doing that's very experimental i don't know if there's enough people who are brave enough to to venture in the lady sized rolex two-tone but i'll tell you guys how it feels we'll see federico has to spruik shitters he sells them all day yeah he has to create an anti-rolex culture so he can spruik the shit. yeah there's actually a big margin uh on set on selling this dog stuff oh 100 he destroys yeah, he buys... the seller right he right, destroys right, right. the seller and then he sells this at like just below the rolex price and you can say why would you buy a rolex well if remember get... he offered steven like two thousand bucks for his broad arrow speedmaster and steven what? sold it for like four thousand right if i'm not mistaken Oh, Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, but yeah, God. he said I'll buy it for two thousand bucks. An Omega Speedmaster brought out for two thousand bucks. How much do you think he gave the guy for this? This he d destroyed the guy. I mean, oh, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, couple it's... thousand at most. You know how hard these pieces are to move to. Impossible. Impossible. You gotta find some who has more dollars than cents. You have to find a lot of gullible, gullible people. And there's, there's a, unfortunately there's a lot of gullible people out there. But you know some people, Tim, on YouTube, they want the watch that the YouTubers wear. Yeah. Which is kind of stupid. It's like why? Like I don't get yeah. it. Like Roman Sharp, sometimes he'll sell the watch off his wrists. Like people will email him after a video hmm. and like say, I want that watch that you were wearing today. <laughs> Interesting. Which is what? funny, but I'm like, I don't, I don't really get that, but yeah. Huh. Huh. That's weird. By the it's way, good. how do you like the haircut? Looks good. It looks really good. For it's free. Kind of... For free? Oh, really? Yeah, my brother did it. Oh, he knows how to do it properly? Well, I have the clippers. I mean, we just go slowly. Oh, look at the style collector. My man. Air King is different, but where is amazing Very i'm actually amazing. gonna get to see this air king personally air king. very cool guy very cool guy style collector <clears throat> thank you for five dollars air king there's nothing like rolex i mean it's just there's a lot like there's a lot of good watches out there uh there, i think every brand has some picks like i really like that gerard perrigate the uh, uh, marco that you pulled up the laureato yeah, the Laureato. It's good. That was actually the first Genta sports watch. I don't know. If yeah. That. He did yeah. it before the Royal Oak. That actually gets the most kudos in Switzerland. It's really the, nice. And I'm the price sure. was right. Dude, what was 12,000 Canadian. Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, I'll pull it up. Pull it up. It was nothing. I told Ronald he should get it because it's like something off the bean path, you know? Yeah. It's so cool. It. Like, he already has like a Grand Seiko. Right, and this is like a great Submariner date alternative. That's it's like from, a royal. I think it's from Watchbox. Old. Yeah, it's from Watchbox. You know, uh, my AD was wearing one of those, and I was amazed at the dial work. It just <sighs> look at this, guys. Like it's twelve thousand. It's I think it's like nine thousand nine hundred US dollars. Right, and you get a lot, lot of watch. Work. Yeah, you get a lot of watch. Integrated bracelet. Really nice movement. Hand Ooh, finish. The back is huge. It's Listen, Gerard Perigo is a serious watchmaker. Yeah. Uh, would I buy one myself? Uh, probably yeah. not. But I'm telling you, like, you are getting an amazing watch. Yeah. Right. Like, it, it, Do you want something you have... different? Right. Yeah. Do you want something different also? You know? It's actually not that bad. Because, like, for example, like, what the Federico was wearing. Like that's ugly dog crap. What oh yeah, the Laureato Evo. But those can be had for so cheap. Tim, yeah. that watch, I saw it for five thousand or six thousand Canadian. I have what? a video on my channel, the best watches under five thousand. Oh and I showed a picture on Chrono 24. It's one of my first videos 
on oh. Chrono 24. There was that. There's a Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda 1950. That's another one. Dorn wow. Booth and Son is another good brand. What's another one? Havering, mm. a couple Haverings you can buy for under 5000 But yeah, this mm. is a lot of watch for the money. A lot of watch. Mm. What, what, that dial, that's a... Uh, what's... Yeah, it's like a. It's it's a little di- here. Let's get a picture of it. It's actually it's three D. Like it's. Uh, yeah, exactly. So it, it's a little different. It pops. It actually pops, or in the sunlight. And it's not too thick. It's forty two. I think it looks good. It's modern size. I think it's a great little yeah. kind of. It, it, it's not. Obviously, you, should, you shouldn't be getting getting the those Piaget's one offs that are they look. Oh, I gotta pull up on a different screen. Jeez, naughty, naughty oak, Nautilus oak. Yeah, it's kind of a blend between the two. You're well, right. It was made before both, so yes. it's got it's got the best of Damn. both worlds, right? Wow, it actually looks amazing. The indices there's. Big chunky. Right. Hey, we got I Jeff in the chat. Star. Guys, Parmigiani Fleurier. Listen, I know that the the name is very off putting. Hello, Jeff. But, Look at this, Jeff. Oh, what's going on, Jeff? The Jeff by Air King is this? He's he trying oh. to tell us something. This Rolex it headquarters. He Rolex it. headquarters is telling. Oh, us. he did buy. It? Yeah, he bought it. That's his latest. Oh, journey. he's trying to tell us it's gonna be discontinued, guys. The A King. What? But yeah, I agree with Spencer. You got to see the Parmigiani Fleuriers in person, guys. The the, the finishing oh, on them is fantastic. You got, the captain. Mm. you got the captain. Yes, sir. And the captain. Oh my God. Also, the oh, yeah. link. You got it. Hey, do you guys know on the PayPal me? Is there any way you can hide your name? Because I don't know all my full name out there. No, you can't. Yeah, there's no, no way. No, you can't. Yeah, yeah you can't. Yeah, you can't, you can't. Unless it's a business account, then you need to create a business a PayPal account. Mm. It's okay. Nobody, nobody is reading that stuff. Don't worry about it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. what's the worst thing they can do? Yeah, come to your house and chip your head off. Yeah, come, come <laughs> find me in LA. That would be cool. You're gonna call I, up all the ADs in California. Make sure you don't sell to this guy. This guy's a racist. <laughs> a racist. Don't sell to him. Uh, uh, what's the worst they can do, Lolex, honestly? Yeah. Yeah, find my LinkedIn, ruin my career. We're 15 minutes to Corona. Yeah, that's 15 good. minutes to Corona. Hello, Captain, my Captain. How's it going? Hey, Cap. hey what's hey, up, Cap. guys? It, it was going well. I was watching the NFL draft, and then I was going to relax and <gasps> take a little break. Wait, who's your team? Who's your team? Who's your team? My team. Well, I'm East Coast all the way. Please don't tell me you're the Jets. <laughs> Zach Wilson is a piece of trash quarterback. Stop, I don't know. Come on. Right, Justin Fields is so much better. Way no, better. No, forget Justin Fields. Is, Was he even drafted? Uh, not Justin Fields. Trey Lance. Sorry, Trey Lance. Yeah, I'm Trey a little Lance. bit nervous about Trey Lance because, you know, the Jets always take the worst. You know, they always, exactly. get, they always get the worst so, guy. So, uh, here we go again. You know, Sam Darnold was a disaster. Um, they let uh, Josh Allen. Get no, him. Sam Darnold was amazing. He had no offensive no, line. Uh, what's he going to oh, do? He's going to run. He's running for okay. his life every play. Look at Mahomes in the Super Bowl. Let's see how Sam does in uh, in Carolina. Okay, he's a good quarterback. I think. Eh, mm. I saw a lot of interceptions, but that's not why. This is a watch channel. This is a watch. Channel. Don't tell me you're <laughs> upset. Patriots got Mac Jones. I mean, no, he's I the second care. coming of Blake Bortles. He's garbage. Yeah, no, I don't care. I mean, they're comparing him to Tom Brady. They're putting him in the yeah, ball. Tom Brady right away. He's Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is so stupid. But I am concerned about Trey Lance that he's going to be actually good. Yeah, Trey Lance is a good quarterback. I hope, if he I gets a about. year off, because Garoppolo's contract ends at the end of next year, right? I think so. It's nice. Yeah, so it's good for him. Give him a year off. Give him a year off. I think that'd be the best. That's the play. Anyways, I, I, what were you going to say about the watches? The uh, oh, and the Jets picked up an offensive uh, guard. Uh, some guy I never heard of. But uh, Yeah, the draft is deep with tackles. You need to make a sports section in the Discord <laughs> channel. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Sports, sports. I, all I hear is sports, oh, yeah. Did you see sports, the Bengals? Sports. 
So are the I Bengals was, nuts, by the way? We could have They're that. drafting Jamar Chase? What, what are they doing? They want Joe Burrow to blow out both his knees? Like, uh, mm. Jesus Christ. So, look, I just had to hop on because because I don't know what's going on. You guys, the Gerald Perigo Laureato, you're putting that in on, in the in the naughty oak category? Nautilus oak? Come on. No, it, it looks not, like it. it looks I know. Like it's it. not. Well, w- did, did that one come first? Yeah, it's the first one. It you can't actually fault it. It gets the most kudos in Switzerland. Well, that's but right. You get the most buzz in uh, the U.S. of A. No, it's an absolute. It, it's the brand completely. But here's the thing: the we brand. were we were taught. You know why we brought it up? Because I missed it. There are these rodents, and they're Ooh. spruiking, fugly watches, just ugly stuff. And we were just saying that. <laughs> listen, if you're gonna experiment. But sometimes people get bored, right? They say, yeah. oh, oh, I don't want Rolex. I went through Rolex. I have like four or five Rolex, right? Yep. I want to try something new, something different. Yep. Then I think this is a very classy, mm. simple Gerard Perigo. It's got Gillesche type of dial. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It's- it has history, right? If you're good, if you want to learn something about a watch, you can do. You can start doing research, and then you can actually sell it. I think it is sellable. Yes, you will lose a little bit of money, but that Piaget that we we're looking at, that that uh, Federico is trying to spruik. Which one is that? Is that the blue? Oh, let me the, show you. Uh, let me show you. The, is that the Nautilus knockoff? That's that's the one in the video that 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 you were talking about. I'll show you. It, that's a complete knockoff, that Piaget. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me show you. No, th- it's, this is one. it's absolutely one. it's one of the worst things that I've ever seen. Oh my god! And he praises it like as if it's uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah of Let course. me show you. It is. Yeah, it is good. Wait, 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 wait. This is not it. Frederico is praising the watch. No, he was he was showing the Piaget that he was wearing, and it's yeah. just it. One of the ugliest things that I've ever seen. Right, it's really ugly. I agree with that. Look at this thing. Oh, mama mia! Gotta see this. Uh, it's well, too bad I'm watching. It. I'm looking at it on my phone. I'm not. Here it is. What an ugly man! Oh my god! It's one of the worst things oh. ever. It's such a acquired taste. Like god. even if you had to sell it, it's co- you're gonna be raked. Do you think he's getting uh, kickbacks from Piaget? No, no. He bought it from some guy who wanted to get out of this, for the love of God, who yeah. wanted to get out of it. So he probably told him, like, I'll give you 2000 for this. And then he's reselling it, and he's like, this is a chronograph. How much is it? How much does he wants to sell it for, actually? Is there a link? God. Like, I'll give you a kiss on the lips for it. How's that sound? You know, just to, quote, to quote Federico, because he did a video once about a watch, and he was right about it. And he goes, that watch is fugly. Like, the mm. way he said it, I yeah. crack. I got to admit, it cracked me up. Yeah. But it's like, now we're using, you know, fugly right against them. You know, we're going to put yeah. the gun right back. <laughs> we're going to blast <laughs> I'm gonna blast Federico. Oh, Look, I don't God. see it on his website. He probably sold it. But here's a here's a different alternative. Whoops! Jesus. I turned off my lap. One second. And then Marco, I also came out. I got a bone to pick with you. Ooh, tell me, tell me, tell me. You in trouble? Ooh. You see this? Oh yes, you gotta unbox that watch. Oh no, no, that's, that's yeah. Don't well, talk that's about it, it yet. <laughs> it's not it. Not what we're talking it's about. Secret. It's yeah. Um, though. I don't know, Marco. Did you see that Waterford Crystal thing I got? Yes. What? I got You're a uh, about decant. I got a decanter. I ha- I put. What is that? It's it. <laughs> oh, the crystal. Yeah, the crystal for me. I, put, yeah, I, I saw put that. Vinegar, I put half vinegar and half water because it said there's a sticker on it that said before you use it, put fill this thing up with fifty percent vinegar, fifty percent water, and and leave it like that overnight. Did it crack? No. I mean, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to clean, you know. I guess that's a way of cleaning it. Vinegar. Now your whisk is gonna taste like vinegar. Congratulations! No, I, I you of... played yourself. No, clean it up. No, no, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go, go on, go on. So anyhow, the supposedly, I guess that's gonna clean out the uh, whatever, whatever uh, fungus is in there. But mm. uh, I tell Marco, I'm looking. You know, if I got a real dress piece, 
that I was interested in Parmigiani. Mm-hmm. And otherwise known as Parmigiani. Parmigiani. Parmigiani Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiani. Michael Parm is it Parmigiani? Because Archie called yeah, it Parmigiani. Parmigiani. It's Parmigiani. Uh, Guys, I have one of those zero gravity chairs and I'm too scared to throw my weight back on it. Yeah, do it. You rip me a do new it. one. You rip me a new one. Oh nice. <laughs> oh like the man. Oh nice. This guy right, is keep talking. I'm here. You're who's living nice. life. <laughs> who's better than low like whose life is better than low lights, honestly? Like, dude, this thing sucks. I don't know dude. if anyone has a single with a Porsche, two killer watches, Listen, amazing. I would, there's a lot of stuff I wouldn't recommend from Parmigiani. And you those sports your, watches, you those ones, the Tondo GT are actually pretty nice. You're like, and the Tond, all the Tond, I like a I lot ha- of. The I hate this brand. I hate this brand. I'm sorry. Were you trying to buy the Parmigiani watch, Captain? Parmigiani? I'm not, I was always just intrigued by it as a dress piece. Well, you better you better unintrigue yourself. <laughs> no, they're good. Real quick. Did I buy it? No. Tim, they're <laughs> amazing guy. discount. Amazing you discount. You know what it is, Tim? You go start looking. Look, when you when you don't want to pay the paddock price. Get the Gerard Perigo. You start <laughs> looking, you start looking yeah, for I'm cheap done. alternatives. And oh my God. you wind up at Parmigiani. Yeah. That's what happened. Oh my and God! Tim, watch, there's some of these watches. Like, I mean, watch your show and Archie's show, and you realize yeah. that you'd be making a huge mistake if you buy a Parmesan. Yeah, I, I, you know what I mean. I don't think you're making yeah. that big mistake. I, I, you can spend the, money a lot worse. Look at this: the dial layout on this watch. Let's it's, see. I haven't seen a worse <laughs> layout. Yeah, what planet. do you mean? That's beautiful. What are you talking about, Tim? Validate. You get a retrograde what date. Do you want? Plus a perpetual uh, is that a perpetual or triple Dude. date? It's uh, yeah, you, you know you know what oh. this is? Yeah, geez. This is oh, that's a, that's the, the first of all, you can't even tell what date and uh month it is because it's underneath the hands. Right? What's wrong with that? What you can't tell, you can't use it. it. And it's in the smallest, tiniest font. I don't know how your eyesight is, but doing these live shows for three hours is actually making my it's everything goes blurry. Pound the drums. Mm-hmm. Didn't you see the Uptick Watches video where he shows Archie War- worth Hermes bag? Tim, your influencer being felt all over. I don't get it. Uptick Watcher. Oh! Oh! Uptick yes. Watches wanted to feel like a movie star. <laughs> Guys, if you want to feel like a movie star, you got to get the birkin you have to bring home the birkin <laughs> captain captain <gasps> captain <gasps> sir maybe it's not the shitter that you need maybe yeah. you need Tim, i'm gonna get you a couple parmesan and chrono 24 I need what? the birkin maybe some good ones. For the birkin yeah what do you think? <laughs> steven i'm not a life big, i'm not steven. a big man purse guy steven i know but I think it's time for the Birkin. Imagine you show up to a party with Holding the, a pink Birkin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Green no Birkin to go with the Hulk or or just a black Birkin. You is would a Birkin be, is a Birkin like a work bag? It's like a suitcase. It's like a it's a woman's bag. bag. It's a messenger bag. <laughs> it's a woman's bag. It's a messenger it's bag. What it is? It's a handbag. <laughs> See, I have no bag. It's a handbag. I have no use for a. I mean, I think some people it's look the use messenger bag. Captain, captain. But I'm not you, delivering newspapers or anything, so I don't. Captain, <laughs> captain, you will be. You can put your files for the lawsuit that you're doing. Yeah. I don't sue people, by the way. Just so well, the audience. Okay, knows. defending, defending. I don't the the defense. You can put your files in there, dude. <laughs> My wife says, "Tim, what's wrong with you?" Yeah, good. That's she's right, Tim. What is yeah, she's wrong? right. She's well, right. <laughs> don't suck Captain, me into Captain. this. It, it, here's world. the thing: it's not. It's not for the pur- purpose. It, it's the, its purpose is one to make you feel like a movie star. Birkin. You tried the whiskeys. You tried the watches. I have a Birkin. coach bag that serves the me. The coach's very well. dog. Don't even say coach bag. I, I know it's it's <laughs> it's it's not great, but I'm saying it's for work. Like if I if I have yeah. a bag and I need to throw some papers in there, or throw it out. Bag, 
throw it. What are you talking about? Throw it out. I have a cool bag. Oh, send it to Marco. Send it to Marco or, or me. Send it to me. Already. They last so long that Marco, by the time you get, you know, a lot of. I want the link. Yes, don't listen to Tim. They're excellent. Have the, I love them. I I gotta say, I'm. They're great throw around bags. But, They're but, all purpose. But Steven, amazing bags. Do they make they you are. feel like a movie star? No, I mean I could upgrade to like a Fendi or something, right? No, Fendi. No, no, Don't no, get no. that Stick shitter. Get a Mont Blanc. Get a Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. The gold. Hold on, hold on. Later. I don't think Birkin is really a male a man's bag. I just don't even know. Like, it's a female bag. It's a no, woman's bag. Not gonna get a Louis, I'm not going to get a Louis Vuitton. I looked at their their luggage. I don't okay. want that logo all over. Tim, let me pull up a few Parmigiani Fleuriers that I like. I'm not a logo. I'd I'd get a Parmigiani bag with a little palm. You know what I like about Parmigiani? I like the Parmigiani logo, that round. You check this circle. out. Look, 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 look. I'll that show looks you. beautiful. That little Parmigiani. Hold on, logo. look right there. Look, look at this guy. Who is this guy? I'm not sure about this guy, but look. It's like a beach bag. You see this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this guy is kind of funky, oh, but but look at this guy. You this see him? Which one? Hold on. Right, right here. I'm looking on the phone. It's hard. Okay. Yeah. Oh, on the right. Yeah. Look at this guy. You see it? He's got the big one. <laughs> Who is this guy? Wait, wait. Who is this? Is that you, Jack? It's familiar. Yeah. See, he's got a Birkin. Dude. Not that you, Jack, man. I don't know. I'm making that up. I don't know who it is, but dude. Look oh, at this look, guy. What look, is this? Kanye. Guy? What is that? That's a Birkin. Oh, okay. So now that's the in thing to do is to carry around like a, a satchel. Yeah, it's just a it's a what movie star Kanye, kind what, what of is thing. What about a movie star? What does Kanye have in that thing? Look, Melania, right, she's got a she only wears a Birkin, by the way. Tim, what is rating you? Let's get back to the watches. The watches. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's oh, get back. Let's get back. Start. But yeah, you're right. But, you Steven, Steven, I'm just. Yeah, I got you, Tim. Birkin for wife. This, this is a simple one. Okay, you can get these for like. That's the I've one. seen these. That's Seven thousand Canadian. Exactly. Look at that beautiful micro rotor movie. <gasps> you guys tell me this is the one, Marco. And it's a Hermes strap. It's a Hermes strap. Speaking of Hermes, yeah, you oh. told me. You told me. Oh, Hermes is the. Parmigiani. They only make straps for Parmigiani. You, and the have Parmigiani. Rock in your head. you know what? Steven, you're allowed to get this if you combo it with the Birkin. That's one option. <laughs> what about that? That's a Hermes good discount strap, option. Hermes bag. Hermes. Here's another. I think I think Hermes Look at this. is mu much Rose more. Rose gold, eighteen thousand Canadian. Look at this ah, beautiful retro grade date. You get oh, that's the one we were looking at. Yeah, right. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Those beautiful lugs. Look at that case shape. Oh, guys, guys, look at guys, this guys, moment. guys. The straps are gonna go live in two minutes. So Except I'm gonna. This I'm gonna strap is not a. It's not a factory strap. You can tell because that's not Hermes strap. Uh, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Look how nice this is. You know what Hold I mean? On. Well, we're going to talk about this uh, really soon. Guys, the Corona. If, if it's anybody a shitter. Would... Don't get that garbage. Man, see, if anybody wants to buy these, uh, it's green. It's sexy. It's limited edition. It's the most important thing. I'm going to try <laughs> I'm gonna try to see. I'm going to try to refresh the website. Tim, Look you know this. that limited edition game, that limited edition. I know, Come on. but it's going to try and these Corona. For, for, I don't have the money. I, I would buy it. I would love to buy it. It's just, guys. I'm I'd, broke. Buy a, I'd buy like a blue one. What is Lolex thing? That's green. what I want. Look I at the Corona strap. Like luxuriously. What are we do talking about? Look at this Corona strap. Tim's Look at it. These, Isn't uh, it gorgeous? Blue straps. Uh... It's not my style, but I think it's cool. Yeah. It's not my it's not for me, but I could see why someone would like it. It would look really cool on a speedy for sure. It would look really cool, you know what? On uh on the Kermit, on the anything that's got a tinge of green. Mm. Yeah. I wonder how many of how, green how is not my color. favorite color, by the way, at all. Ah. Uh, but it, it could it's it really could not. be cool for you to put to put your Hulk on it. I wonder if anybody I don't know, buy. man. It's gonna Marco? take a, such a long time to make these too. It, they're gonna start shipping in July. Wait, why are you calling my name? What's going on? All right, let's just. Your, I want to get your opinion on a Hulk on one of these. That Tim is in the strap. On oh, a Hulk. just really quickly, if anybody's no. gonna yeah. buy these, <laughs> yeah. let us know in the chat if you were able to buy it. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna watch what Marco has to show us. The more what Parmigiani is? Reggiani. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You gotta. I believe it's a triple calendar. Okay. Rose gold case. You get the beautiful finishing on the rotor. Hermes strap. The rooted rotor. 
and, and the beautiful finishing obviously on the on the the movement itself it's unworn no box or papers but it doesn't matter because you're never reselling this thing if you buy it twenty three thousand canadian that's the same money as the vc history 1942 but you get a precious metal case and what's the and what's the history at these days no, it's even the history is a bit cheap. It's a lot. Oh, oh, hold it, hold it right there. It looks like Thomas the Tank Engine's face, right? <laughs> Stop Ooh. it. It looks like a face, Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> oh damn! Oh boy. <laughs> and then this is the one that I gotta tell you, man. If we're looking for alternative lives. brands, you know, Mar Marco Spruce Breguet. I don't yeah, Brega is better than this. I, I wouldn't I don't get it. See why you I wouldn't get this over a Brega. In my, it's very good, guys. But there's a lot better. Well, brand. Like a, a history triple calendar it. is better. A, well, a you, Brega yeah, is better. Guys, you can now order. Tim, Tim, I can order it. Yeah. Oh yeah! Look at this. Oh, Casey is jumping sure. in, baby. No, 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 I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. You can now pre-order, not order it, pre-order it. You can choose the you can choose multiple size uh, standard short if you got chicken wrist uh, or extra large if you got the extra 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 large fists. Ooh, wait, this is zoomed in way too hard. Wow, what is that? Is that Shiatsu? That's the Corona watch. Shiatsu polishing. Look at that. Shinzuku, Shinzuku, Shinziki. Shiatsu. Let's butcher every name we know. <laughs> Jinjiaotsu. Parmigani. Parmigani. This would look great on Parmigani. You know, he's put, a master he's watch maker, right now. Uh, Marco. Where did did he work at Patek? Where did uh, Parmigani? He's still pre-ordered. He's still got a couple of minutes. Uh, I actually don't know much about uh, my... I, I don't know much about Michelle Parmigiani. I know Vudalainen used to work uh, for Parmigiani. Right. It, he used to uh, restore vintage clocks. That's as far as I know. But he, he made a watch, I believe it's a pocket watch. Mm -hmm. He was the first to do the hammer system, the hammer automatic system that uh, mm -hmm. Breguet did. Nobody had copied it until Moritz Grossman did it recently, I'm pretty sure. Here, let me Oh, pull look at this. That's an Asian hoarder. So, so he's a very nine good locations on WhatsApp and zero on Discord. By the way, guys, if you are a member of, the, of my channel, uh, you can access the Discord at a four dollar level so make sure you check your membership and uh and uh, go sign up for the discord it's now at a four dollar is great I, I posted a, a photo of my car in the car in the uh i think lolex uh lounge lolex's garage <laughs> <laughs> yeah i saw that awesome you check it out? Pull it up. Yeah. yeah i like it i like i'm learning the um a little bit about the different lounges it's kind of cool yeah there you go. right so yeah. he did this right here. So if you see Ooh. this, that hammer will swing back and forth, and it's how the the watch is powered, right? So it's like an automatic system. Yeah. It was previously done by Breguet and hadn't been redone yeah. until Parmigiani did it in a in a pocket watch, if I'm not mistaken. And then what's it called? Moritz Grossman, I believe, just did it in a in a, in a wristwatch. I'm wondering if he's French, Italian, or or, or French. Here you go. Look at this. This is insane movement. The oh, red is he, is red screws. Do you see those red screws? It's like a special heat treatment. It's insane. Whoa. That's gorgeous. This, this yeah. is, come on. This is serious. That's serious work. They made one. It's a green dial made with Kerry Woodalinen. He made the dial. Let me see if I can't find it. Do these it's are unbelievable. Do these have uh, the Gene a Geneva seal. Uh, this is beyond Geneva seal. I mean, this is next level stuff. <laughs> I don't know yeah, how you is... get uh, the Geneva seal. I have to look into that. It, it's not that hard. I don't think so. Yeah. But yeah, this whole thing you see at the top here, this whole thing will actually move around. It'll swing. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy because. I'm gonna I mean, it must be a delicate I'm system. Gonna, I'm going to say something that's very controversial. That's going to be okay, very yes. controversial. He worked at Museum Restoring Clocks, Parmigiani. Yeah, so Kerry, Kerry worked with him. Because I know he was the, the head of uh, restoration for a while for Parmigiani. You know, why wouldn't you at least look at this brand over Langa? Why is it Langa, 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 Langa? 
I'm sorry. Outside of the Trinity, all I hear is about the long and one. That's it. Mm. I mean, that's, that's, that's not the. I mean, that's not the only watch I hear, but like, it comes up so much, right? The long and one, long and one. I mean, yeah. for the the price, I'd rather get. It's a brand called Gronfeld. Either oh, the Remetoir, the Remetoir is really nice. You can get the Principia. Um, yeah, I like the Remetoir. It's my favorite. Cars and Chrono. What's up, fellas? What did I miss? Check your email. What is it? What did they all say? They're disrupting the watch the industry. Right. Yeah. Mm, As I get these vo vo viewer voyeur commercials, these. But to me, the best is always and will always be Karen Budawan. He's the best to me. Nobody beats him. Nobody beats I mean, him. He's the best. He's the best. You're the best. All right. All right. No one's ever going to bring you down. You're the best. I mean, you can oh. literally get a totally bespoke dial from Carrie, which is insane. Okay, Nobody can second. do that. Let me put this. Oh, baby. I think our good friend Carson Chrono has finally I'm gonna leveled up. He leveled up his, uh, oh. his collect. Uh, his box game, watch box game. Ooh. Let me show you guys this thing. It's amazing. This is pretty cool. And what's the I, I, what's their production of Voodoo, Voodoo Uh, fifty-two, forty-eight to fifty-two watches a year. How many years have they been in the, in in uh, making watches? Well, carry personally a while. Um, in terms of the brand itself, I don't know. They're, they're, they're still fairly recent. Pretty interesting. I'm not Check a fan. Check this out, guys. Jorn. 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 Don't forget about Jorn. Yeah. Ooh, Very nice. Oh, a blue and the black one. Oh. Sheesh. Wow. Carson Corner couldn't wait for his custom made <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to arrive. <laughs> so... He got uh, uh, a second one uh, to keep him entertained so that, you know, because the other one, I don't know what was the other one, but let's be honest. Uh, whatever whatever the other thing that he had, uh, people said it was Wolf, but I don't know. I don't know. It, it literally, it wasn't worthy to keep the Rolex in and to keep the... <laughs> You know, to keep the collection inside this collection that he has, it's incredible. And let me show you this one more picture. Oh, he's got so now we got the well, first of all, let's do this close up right here. Bam! Oh, the platona has moved over. Yeah, <laughs> I like the other box. The other box. <laughs> all, all, all he needs is a Birkin and he'll be set, right? Ten. Oh, I wonder how many Birkins he has. That's going to be a really interesting question. Oh, yeah, let's find out. How many Birkin, Birkins? Talk to us uh, about the Birkins. Cars and Chrono. That's the box. Oh, my There goodness. we go. Look at that. Oh, he moved uh, the Snoopy. Uh, with the white dial to the white dial. Oh, and then now the salmon the dial uh, is with the, uh, what's it called? The, this tobacco colored. Yeah. I got to be honest. The Snoopy just doesn't belong. It's got to be replaced with something. Maybe a some, some white wrong, colored paddock. 1921. Hysterix 1921. In Ooh. That's a great watch. Tim called it a shitter a couple months ago. A couple months ago, yeah. But am I allowed to grow as a as a collector? Evolve. Tim called it a shitter, a shitter. I did, I did. I didn't know anything about Gronfeld. Actually, like today, actually today I started looking at some Gronfelds and they're pretty impressive. Oh, by the way, the the Corona is gone. And uh what's the other one that he had? Oh, uh, Kudoki. 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 Uh, oh, wait. He's, he's, wait a minute. It's gone, the Kudoki? Well, well, it's not gone from the collection. Just not. It was bought. Just not. I was going to mention bunch. Kudoki, but I, I mean, it just seems like that comes up. <laughs> you know, like. 
every time we get into this conversation, right? You got to throw them in there. I mean, yeah. you guys got a Jorn Chronomet Optimum, a vertical Turbion, a Havan, a double split Longo, a 5270. Why are we even mentioning a Kadoki? I, I, he, he had it. I don't know, wrong, but it was there. Right. Because that's mm. the one we could actually attain, perhaps. Yeah, but the Kadoki is a beautiful watch, so in its it own is. right, to be fair. Mm. Mm, wow. Did he change out the new white strap on that piece, the second piece? We didn't see it as a white strap yesterday, right? No, it was a white strap, yeah. Oh, okay, weird. okay. What's that one in the upper left corner? Is that a paddock? Yeah, it's a weekly the week the week the oh, week calendar okay the weekly calendar yes, man. you know what i mean uh, that's it's perfect like it's great wow. it's an interesting strap on that too so guys I, I went and worked out prior to tim's stream and i can't and i never showered i came back and i never showered that was literally out so i need to go take a shower because i feel disgusting but i'll yes, talk to you guys about yeah, I'll talk to you guys. Take care, man. Have a good one, man. Take care, man. Take care. I got to say, that's a beautiful uh, Louis Vuitton box. That's See, I, when I was seeing the luggage, I guess JJ bought a bunch of luggage. Yeah. You know, I just would feel a little weird myself, like, taking that luggage. You know what I mean? It's like I'm branding LV, you yeah. know, going to, like, an airport. Um, This is a, is a nice color. Like, in that brown one, you know, you always see that brown color hmm. for their bags hey, and whatnot hey did cars and chrono get this strap the kudoki strap uh the he probably strap? should he yeah. probably should actually he has the watch, hold on. right yeah uh, uh one second, the Havana dial. This, by the way because he has the watch he probably needs uh the, the strap. strap to match it one second cars and chrono uh let's actually drop the oh, oh. let's see let's that's a plutona uh let's see it and close this uh, so tim you're gonna be happy um watch eric did a video today talking about the uh your daytona oh and he said the price he said they're going for around forty thousand. that's the price that's now the market price mm. somewhere around there maybe even a, a little higher so here's the link. See, well, first of all, let me see. Okay, you can see that. And here is the link. They're still not. They're not sold out yet. So it's just these, a strap, Tim. It's not a watch. It, Most people well, don't want. But look at this. He has the watch. The buckle. That's the problem. Like why? Well, he has the buckle? buckle. Because the buckles, they're all. You know, you can always get a good buckle. Mm. It makes sense. It should come with a buckle. A strap needs a buckle. Why well, don't know? Why y'all don't? I think. Why mm. Well, yeah. If you don't have a buckle, now you got to do some. Uh, you got to jump through some hoops. Right? Yeah, Tim. You never showed his FP more in Scotch, Tim. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, because I got you know I, I was I wanted to yeah, show him the track. strap. If he wants to get the strap, check this out. Nope, he's not feeling the strap. Yeah, oh, it's not, not that nice. Okay. I got to be honest with you. I really don't love it either. Okay. I didn't want to say anything, but it's like you have to you know, say it. It doesn't. It doesn't look good with that watch. With the black dial, it'll probably look nicer. Not with that one. Okay. Well, look. We had to show it to him. This is limited edition. These straps are limited. Limited. Uh. So let me get rid of this. Hold I on. think if someone me. likes green, especially like, and that's is that crocodile leather? No, no, it's not crocodile leather. It's, What's uh, the price of it? It's one hundred and fifty-five dollars with shipping. Nah, I would get it. I would get a Jean Rousseau from. So what's it made of? Oh, Look at this. FB Jorn liquor <laughs> to go with the FB Jorns. Wow. Now, wh where is this? This is a I f what, this is a branding of some that some oh, look at that. whiskey. That's a boost. That's like a boost head. <laughs> yeah, that they're making it. That's a deer. Wait, no, no. Yeah. That's a... It's not Glenn Livet. Like, it's uh, Walt Downward. Wad Dalmore. Wad Dalmore. No Dalmore. Cool. The cool cigar beans. malt reserve. They probably take some of the most 
high quality whiskey and they give them to the clients mm. down more look at this cooler fin knows every single whiskey <laughs> <laughs> oh i think down. it's at the top of the bottle you can wow. see oh uh, yeah you I can mean, see Marco, more you can see more you're, yeah. in, you're in canada you should know what that what is that a moose down or more. a or reindeer or something it's down a deer more. it's definitely a deer uh, it might be a caribou actually it might be a caribou it might be a carrot. Yeah, it might be. A yeah, it might be. I don't know. I, I think you know, it's I, actually a carrot. Last summer, I came five feet from a moose, a a, moose, a bull moose too. Yeah, mm. I have a cottage. Mm. Yeah, huge. And, uh, oh. Yeah, one of the brightest, brightest most frightening is, experiences ever. Yeah. It's frightening, and it was mm. running right through the uh, place I was staying. Um, it went ran right through the backyard, and everyone's like. Jumping, running out to take photos and shit. <laughs> they couldn't mm. believe that this moose. Well, I mean, they, you know, they've seen moose before. It's a stag, it's not, whatever that is. What's a stag? stag? So, I mean, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Wow. How much? Really good stuff. Actually, makes deer. me thirsty. Okay, it is a deer. It, is a it makes deer. me really thirsty. I wasn't sure if it was deer or caribou. Yeah. How was it? How was it? Cars and Chrono, how what how was it with the with the FB Jordans? Did you see the custom made bespoke Vacheron travel case that they made from? Unbelievable. Wait, wait, wait. Vacheron. Check your email again. Oh no, I don't have that. I don't have it. Check your email again. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I I, I wanna I wanna see the blue. The blue again. Look at that blue. It just pops. Oh my god. I love the blue. That's just amazing. Wow. For 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 steel sports steel stunners. That's where you get the blue to hold the steel sports stunners. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is so funny. Actually, this is so funny because uh you know why? You're going to find this hilarious because it says JC on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's a shout out to our good friend JC. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait, what is this? What? Fair page. Fair page. Now it says something on the inside. Oh, it's AP. Is it? Wait. It's hard. Oh, wait. Frederick. Con yeah, wait. Constantine. Vacheron Constantine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a one up. It's a bespoke Vacheron. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's by Four Lepage. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. It, it reminds me of uh, kind of Goya. Is this? The pattern kind of and uh the the buckle style looks very goyard. I wonder what the cushion is like. I need we need one more picture. Cars and chrono, we need one more picture of what the cushion is like. How does the watch sit in there? Right? Because that's the most important thing. How does it sit in there? Cars and chrono, he says uh Tim, I'm a native New Yorker. Need to host a meetup. Sure, man. That would be awesome. That would be freaking amazing. Delmore is delish, by the way. Cooler Fiend, if you want some good limited Scott, join Single Malt Whiskey Society. It's a secret club <laughs> to get access to members only bottlings what timmy tim in your previous picture right you had the watch case with the blue cushions yes any any idea what brand was that wait a minute were you talking about this one no the other one uh when you had the whiskey oh, in the, the background before, before. yeah yeah no yeah. idea but it's a good question maybe he can tell because us. i've seen auction houses use using that particular type of box 
Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, it looked like JJ has similar. Uh, here, I'll I'll bring it up. Uh, yeah, I thought JJ knows. has something similar. Someone has this one. Uh, Cars and Chrono. What the uh, what watch box is this? No, not not this one. Not, not this, this one. one? Oh. Yeah. The the photo with the whiskey. Oh, with the whiskey. Oh. Oh, you're talking about this one right yeah, here. Uh, yeah, that, that one. Who uses this, you said? Uh, I've seen auction houses using this. Oh. This style of boxes. Yeah. If if anybody knows what box this is, right? Yeah. Drop it in the comment. Very yeah. interesting. Huh. Mm. Oh, there we go. Re Remova case. Oh, Remova. Oh, 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 it is. It is Remova. By the way, Remova, it's so expensive. Like, it's a three watch uh, boxes case. Uh, let me actually pull it up. Whoops. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, where's my, where's my, oh, here's the website. Here it is. Ah, okay. Remova watch box. It is quite interesting in the way it's done mm. oh why it's not closing there we go let me show you remova remova it's expensive god it's only for three pieces but check this out it's like uh why oh it's out of stock already look at this as you can see it it's like it slides out to the side you see that? Yeah. It's like a case within the case. And he says, I was buying a Costa Mesa boutique and somebody offered 500 over a list to purchase from me. What the hell? These things, actually, they were they were in stock. I, 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 was, I was kind of biking around and... Why not just buy a phosphorus sweater? Because it's Remova. People like the luggage, the Remova luggage. Remova luggage is so luxury. Yeah, but it doesn't smell as luxurious as so is this a, uh, No, it doesn't. This is supposed it to be for travel as well, though? Ah, oh, it just smells so good. Um, Guys, I'm telling you, it's intoxicating. I mean, it looks, it looks beautiful. I yeah. Just, um... You know, is that is that travel? I guess it is. I think it's bullet. It's gotta be. It's gotta be kind of. It's gotta be I'm very think, secure. I'm, I'm I'm thinking whether I go two or three watch roll on the Bosphorus. I can't wait to mm. order that. <laughs> wow. Wait, Stephen. Maybe I'm gonna. I have to make that Bosphorus leather. I have so many videos to make, guys. It's not even funny. But, I know. Uh, Me too. But, I'm uh, so far behind. Going? Tomorrow I'm going to be uploading probably my unboxing of the Bruce Wayne. So you're well, going to hear a lot of "Oh my God, it's Rolex." <laughs> so so what are you going to? Uh, what about the Bathurst, uh, Marco? Marco? Mm. Uh, yeah, I have to do a what's it called a video, but you can enter the giveaway, Stephen. You know, we could work something out. I'll bring it for you, no worries. <laughs> oh, yours, check this out. He says it's too the, heavy uh, to travel with. The high end. Interesting. Well, I have one three watch roll in the same leather that I have, the same like brown alligator, or I have just a simple blue one. Oh, our friend M36 Speed. Welcome, welcome. Wow. You know, I'm actually I'm kind of disappointed. He says it's good for meetups, but it's too heavy for for travel. This watch box. Ah, there you go. Wait, how heavy is it? It's a good question. Um, I, I, I would think it's aluminum. I thought it would be... Oh, it's three aluminum. pounds? What the hell? <laughs> That's insane. You know, this thing weighs as much as I think their, their giant luggage. Like, you take their... uh, Let's say, or classic. How much does this weigh? Just out of... Curi oh, oh, let's not go classic. Classic is heavy. Let's go original. I think that's how much they're... And this is like aluminum, right? So one of these... What is the weight on this? Just just as a joke. Oh, it says weight is 9 pounds. 
podcast that's three times. But it's huge. How can that that small thing weigh a third of this? It's ridiculous. Cars and Chrono, five dollars. Why don't followers do Louis Vuitton watch case telethon for the pontiff? I, I'm telling you guys, uh, I don't think our Ar- Archie is going to be satisfied until he gets uh, the Louis Vuitton watch box. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just, <clears throat> I just know how these things are. I mean, once he and he is actually a Louis Vuitton enthusiast. Um, so if there's anyone in the world who, like, I think actually, if you go back and you watch his YouTube video, like f- from uh, from the beginning, the luxury to last. It literally started with Louis Vuitton hybrid and watches, right? Oh. Um, it just to me, what is this? It's a it's a camouflage suitcase. You put this over your suitcase so people don't know that you have a remover. I guess weird. Uh, it's like a it's like a rubber rubber for your for your suitcase that's insane <laughs> right that you actually have to camouflage the suitcase that you bought yeah that's the idea yeah i mean i guess also maybe wow. not to scratch it some people will get it so that they don't scratch it uh-huh it's a suitcase within a suitcase that's interesting yeah yeah it's it's like a I, condom I, thought, for I you. thought you bought a, a suitcase you know to protect you know your 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 clothes and and <laughs> toiletry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I mean, if you I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm new here. You if, know, what do I what do I know? Right? I mean, if, if a, you're if you're buying all these high end pieces, right? You should yeah. be flying. You private enjoy jet. them. You, you know, should be flying private jet. You shouldn't be flying in the commercial airline. That's yeah. that's true too. Yeah. I actually that's have why one of I these. stick with Tumi, T U M I, Tumi guys. I have I have this one. Get a the, piece the of Tumi luggage. It'll last you your entire life. I think it's actually warranted for life. Uh oh, Tumi actually, yeah, they Tumi. do have really good service. You know, I had They're a Tumi incredible. backpack. It yeah. got a hole in the side. Oh wow! And uh, I I t- went to their store for repair because they said they'll replay they re- they repair it no problem. And I bought the backpack for like two hundred dollars. And they said, "Ooh, we can't repair it because it's the kind of a tear that we can't repair, but we'll give you a $500 gift card. Holy shit. Yeah, it's it ridiculous. I was like, what? So I had like a basic backpack and I upgraded to the full size thing. How many How how many years did you have it before you um, did that? Did that I think happen? I had it for three years. Three years. I wonder, you think I could spruik a free piece of, not that I want to. But my, my, <laughs> I sound like a spru- take, take, it offline, take it offline. Take it offline. Look, right, I, right. I mean, no, no, I don't no, want to. I what have I'm... a special, uh, Stephen. As you know, I have a a way to to, you know, a kind of a charisma to go to do these things. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't risk it. But if you have a tear in your in your backpack or your luggage, I wouldn't. I would go to them and talk about it. I had not a tear. So what happened? Look, this mm. is I've had this piece, this piece, you know, this traveling suitcase for a long time. Yeah. But what did happen was the plastic, you know how you mm. have you have wheels and then you have a plastic covering. Yeah. Um around both sides. Yeah. One of the sides, literally, the plastic covering like cracked. Ooh. And I mean that could happen, you know, I could see that happening. You, you know, you're using it, you're traveling a lot, it yeah. bangs against things. Mm-hmm. Um, but it got so bad that I just pulled off the piece. Mm. Huh. And and it's still functional, but I had oh. to, I had to pull rip off this piece of plastic. Yeah. And I said, you know, I thought that this was like a lifetime warranty. Yeah. Situation, right? I don't like know. a luxury I mean, piece. That... You thought it was actually like a ro- built like a Rolex, right? Well, yeah, I didn't know that the plastic would kind of rip yeah. off like that, you know. Cooler fiend says plastic water pump, yeah. 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 And I'm like, what do you do with that? Do I just I don't have a yeah. warranty on luggage that's 15 years old, you know? Yeah. I mean, I wonder what the warranty is uh as well. Right now, I'm kind of worried. Oh, they have five years warranty. 
Okay. It's not that much. What that's on this piece? Yeah. 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 But the cool thing is that they have replaceable wheels. So if you do break the wheel, you can replace it. Yeah. Um. But you know, actually, I'm I. I, I'm a little bit disappointed by this suitcase and Ooh. specifically by the locks. These locks that they have in, they look like they're steel, but they're cheap and nasty plastic. I got to be a, one of the most disappointing locks I have ever seen. And the way they lock is just with the little piece of plastic. It's just, uh, I'll do, I'll do a video review of my Remova case. I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, M3 six speed five dollars. Trying to stay interested in watches, happy and content with my four piece combo, not chasing anything. Can you relate, Marco? Oh, Mark, Marco is away right now. Can you relate, Marco? You have uh, you happy with the sub and the GMT right now? Actually, M3, I can relate to you as well. I have a perfect four piece right now. If Rolex didn't come out with a two tone explore one. Uh, I wouldn't want the two tone. However, there might there is some breaking news, guys, that I didn't tell anyone. So my brother was accepted to Cornell University, like like yesterday. Wow, oh, are you serious? Yeah, right. What yeah. uh, what school? Like what? Any specific division of Cornell? He's doing like finance stuff that wow. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. He got He's a smart undergrad, guy. undergrad Cornell. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you know how hard that I mean, I, I'm not gonna that's incredible because he's I know freaking, people, he's really it. smart, he's Brilliant. really smart. But to be honest, I helped Please. him out a lot with like essays and uh but I mean look, look, did he's he a get smart any, guy, he works he, he, hard, he studies all the freaking time. Did he apply to any other of the Ivy? I'm curious, just because I have a nephew who did not get into Cornell, was like brilliant, but he got into like other really good schools. Yeah. Um, I was I was shocked, but Cornell mm. is so hard to get into. Mm. Um that I'm he's actually he applied to 13 schools, yeah, and Cornell replied and accepted the, the invitation. Oh, okay. And and so he doesn't know yet. He applied to Harvard as well. So I want to hear it. Yeah, it'll know. be interesting to see yeah. if he's yeah. gonna get multiple, you know. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I mean, All I'm, you uh, need is one though. I mean, you I, get into Cornell, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's we're incredible. shocked. I I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Wait, who and got my into mom Cornell? Is, Congrats. My brother, my brother. That's yeah. amazing. Congrats, yeah, right? Buddy. He's freaking amazing. Jesus. And uh, so I have four pieces. And I'm thinking, my, oh, my right. mom, I'm th we're, we're thinking, me and my mom are thinking. And I'm kind of trying to convince her because she, she wanted to buy him a tutor. But I was, I'm like, yo, how about we buy him my Submariner? What do you think about that guy? <laughs> What do you think about that? Well, you're gonna sell it to him? Not sell it to him. Like my mom. Oh, you're gonna get us. Me, yeah, and that way I will. I will have the. Actually, I'll have, I'll have a little bit of disposable income. I'll have the. Uh, I, I'll actually be able to afford the two tone a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> because I'm freaking. I'm broke, and you know he's so funny. He's so cute. He's like, Tim, I'm worried about you. You know, like <laughs> I'm worried about you. What's gonna happen to your life? I mean, he's going places. Uh, but uh, he's like he's like worried about. It. He's a cool guy, so I'm thinking maybe it's worth investing in your brother, if you know what I mean. Oh. You never know. You never. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, 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 it's family. It's family. It's making it's fam the not, No, 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 no. Not not in that way. No. I'm you know what? Saying. You know what, Tim? I yeah. would say no to the. Ro he does not need a Rolex of Mariner in college, right? Mm. But a nice, you know what, for studying, he seems like a, obviously a smart guy who studies yeah. a lot. Maybe he'll like a nice dress kind of piece, you know, to go to classes. Oh, you something. know, the timer is really cool for school because you can time things, you know, how long. Yeah, but he's going to have a Rolex sub in college. You think Ego is going to be completely well, out of control? Well, you know what, Cornell, guess what? A lot of his classes. He can make fun. really good friends with yeah, rich yeah, people. Yeah, because they're going to have other. Because mm. it's yeah, not yeah. so much. It's not about Cornell. Let's be honest. The school, the most important thing you can do in school is uh, networking. Right. He goes in with the Rolex. He can net. He can meet other kids with the Rolex. He will network with people that are important. He goes with the tutor. He's a second class citizen. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and he can ruin so many. No, relationships. but you know what? If he gets something like off the beat, like that's really like 
a knowledge watch like that's like in the know like you know a panic stop it steven he's going to college he's going to get absolutely hammered every day for the next three years I lost, no, look, look i got a ten so to go 100 with for my parents get him a shitter please I don't give him a stuff i lost it in the in the bar the right. first weekend i was there uh literally it probably fell off my wrist or someone and someone grabbed it off the floor mm. or someone spruced it off my wrist and that was it for my mm. college watch, man. That was it. No more watches. Uh, my parents, it was, you know, for them, it was money. You know, it was it, it was 500 bucks, whatever, a thousand. I don't know. And, uh, you know, you get a watch. It's like, oh, he's going yeah. off to college. Here you go. And then it's like, I had to make the phone call the first week. Mm. <laughs> Guess what? I got drunk and the watch is gone. Mm. Yeah, and short. that's what he told me. He told me the same thing. He said, like, oh, actually, maybe I, I don't want the sub because I can kind of I he is very clumsy. Uh he and says you know I what? can bang it against something and break it. But I told him, you know what? Maybe it will force you to be more careful. Maybe the watch will change you. Maybe you're clumsy because you don't have anything to lose. I don't One know. I'm just later, brainstorm. I bought, I bought myself a tea, so. Mm. because of that story and i got a white dial like just a clat like a dress tea so i yeah. don't even know the name of the or the cereal mm. um i wore it to work for a little while i i liked it it was a nice piece and then i gave it i gifted it to my nephew when he went to college mm. oh nice yeah Let, let's let's answer the super chat marco m3 yeah. six speed it, fe it feels content me too. Yeah. I feel so content. Listen, Four pieces don't get more me than wrong. Enough. Right, 100%. I mean, listen, we'll always want more yeah. watches, right? It's just in no, our DNA. You know what I mean? It's like, we're, are but you, we're satisfied. I feel like, we're not looking to buy anything. You know, we're just looking to kind of say, oh, this being. is cool. And yeah, exactly. Not like, everyone is like Cars and Chrono. I mean, that's a collector. It's. It's next level. It's FB Jorns. They don't even count as watches. They're like works of art. Right. It's it's beyond. But as watches, how many watches do we need? We need four. I think four is like maximum. Five, like you have fifth as a beater or something. If you want to do the beater, the whole beater thing, which I don't believe in beaters. I think the beater is in your pants. Guys, okay. Tim, what's the most affordable <laughs> watch your AD has? Like Unfortunately, <laughs> Hamilton. Like I would get him something of Hamilton? like that. Nice, yeah. They have like, even a digital Tissot or something like that. Oh no, no, they don't have Tissot. They don't have Tissot. They have Tech Warrior. They have Tech Warrior. Uh, yeah, Tech Warrior is fine. That's like an Aqua Warrior's Racer. Nice. Get him an Aqua. What do you guys racer? think? Well, I want. I, I also. I actually. I, I want to hear some chat. Tell Nothing me. Nothing expensive. What do you guys think? He's gonna damage it. He doesn't. Does he have a, a love and a give him my for watches? Actually, he's watching the show sometimes. He said so sometimes he'd be watching the show and he said, "Wow, Tim, I'm impressed. You are. Your show is not the worst thing on the planet Earth. <laughs> it 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 might not be terminal. There might be some hope for you. Because uh, I'm kind of hopeless person, kind of like Archie, unemployed, unemployable." Uh, but uh, maybe maybe I can I can make something out of this. Tim, you should uh, make a politics podcast. What do you think? Yes, people oh would love God. it. That's what it's except, all about. That's except what it keep me ten feet away from it, please, guys. <laughs> Don't ever involve me in politics with Tim. <laughs> well, you could have some nice debates. That's where the super. Oh chat no, it wouldn't be in. a debate. It would be like a disaster, like the Chen Uger versus Ben Shapiro debate, which was a disaster. Love That's love what that it would be though. every day. It would be people all eat it up with a no spoon. Idea. Popcorn. Right. These shows are insane, right? The news, I don't even, they're not even news networks. I don't want to go down mm. this road, but, you know, all these, all these mainstream, right? It's one mm. side versus the other. It's all entertainment. That's all it is. They want ratings. They want mm. ratings. So you do a real show and you can, you know, give some real news, real opinions or whatever, but mm. not this BS. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, Too oh, much like, negativity. That's the problem. All the news. Yeah. It's ninety-eight percent negative news. It's like Jesus yeah. Christ. Like uh, life isn't all miserable. Uh, like, come on, man. Report some decent news. You know, what I mean? like I mean, that guy. What's that? That actor? Which guy? The the he made a YouTube channel and it took off. Like You're the wrong. real news network. No, no, no. no. <laughs> 
It's that guy who plays that's, Jack that's Ryan in a, the is. Amazon series. What's it Joe called? Joe Rogan. No and, idea. Uh, but let me Eddie, let me get through Eddie these Bravo, chats, guys, Eddie just Bravo. really quickly. Just really quickly, quickly. Let me get through these chats, guys. One second. Okay. Uh, to complete the M36 uh, speed. Thanks for the feedback, fellas. Yeah, just be content. Enjoy life. I think watching John a show Bruce. like this, you know, the exp look at what other people are. By the way, if you want to get the link to the Discord, just Some good news. email That's me. Good we'll, we'll invite you free. Don't worry about it. Uh, we want to we wanna see what you got. Uh, just, just email me. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah. Just enjoy life. Uh, check out some fragrances. Go check out some fragrances. If you're already into fragrances, that's great. It's not. It doesn't have to be all about watches. You have four is more than enough. As a as as watches, four watches is great. Then we got. Now this is really interesting. Is he into watches? Don't want to force it. Yeah. So he likes What's watches. He, he likes watches. You know, he he was saying uh, he actually said he really he really would love to get a speedy. He likes that that it's manual wine. He he looks at the fifty one ninety six. That, That's a perfect. Uh, the speedy is a perfect college one. If he really likes watch, yeah. speedy is a perfect college one. But my AD doesn't have any speedies. That's, that's oh. very unfortunate. Mm. Uh, cars and Kronos says my son couldn't care about my cars and Kronos. That is so sad. You have to slowly, be, but you know what? I've seen how impossible it could be to kind of get somebody into the hobby. You know, when when yeah. Mr. GMT's son, like what a cool guy, but like watches, he's just so uninterested. Yeah, you have to it. ease them into yeah. it. Ease them yeah. into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I would recommend. It has to happen naturally. You can't actually. Yeah. If you force somebody into a hobby, they will never like it. Mm. Yeah. It's like your wife or girlfriend. You know what I mean? If you yeah. force them to do something you like, they will hate it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. ease them into it. Give him as a present some cool color colored g-shock that goes with his sneakers or goes with his something you know like if he has a red sneakers give him a red g-shock or like if he has like green sneakers red sneakers get him one of each colors just something to for him to add on the wrist to add to his kind of uh outfit and then slowly because for me it started with the apple watch get him the apple watch is he wearing the apple watch get him that a great way to get him stuck because what happened was i had the no apple shooters. watch no no I know, digital let me explain, let me explain. it's a trick you have to trick him into it i had the apple watch and then when the apple watch kind of broke i didn't want to get a second apple watch I was like oh ah, this is garbage because you have to recharge it but i was so used to having something on my wrist i started looking for other things that's how you do it guys Get the oh, Apple says Watch. His daughters love them, so it's all good. There you oh, go. There you okay. go. Wow, and you, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Wow, Tommy. The sad thing is, people think the world is so bad because of the news, but their surrounding, if the TV was off, would be great. Exactly. Yeah, you have to look at the positive things. The it's positive called some side. good news, by the way. It's on YouTube. It gets like tens of millions of views. They yeah, only yeah, yeah. There's a lot news. of negativity. The, you, the negativity is like getting people angry about something. That's what gets the most views. It's like all the fake news with the Trump administration. You know, it was like there was a study. It was that CNN had ninety six percent negative news throughout Trump's presidency. Yeah, ninety six percent. Like you don't have anything good to say about the fucking guy. Ever. No, but it's not. It's not only CNN. I think sure. it would be the same thing for Fox News. Fox and... was fifty fifty. At least they were fair and balanced. Fox even was though. 50... Oh well, well, well. well yeah, what about like, right Fox... now? If you take Fox News, are they, are no, they they're positive? Terrible too. Right now, they're, they're terrible. like they flipped. Right now, yeah. so yeah. whereas where Fox was, Fox probably right now is like ninety and ten. Right now it's ninety six. Yeah, they, they, they just all flipped. Yeah. 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 For Joe Biden. And it's exactly. yeah, it's 96 4 positive, right? They can do exactly. no wrong. It's all hacks. It's, political hacks. Hacks. Of course. It's all to get people riled. Anyway, up. let's not let's not yeah. let's not talk politics. This anymore. media. Tim, should we be watching our tennis shoes, as we call them, with our watch dials? Matching. Oh yes. Exactly. Well, but you shouldn't be playing tennis in your uh you know, they're just running shoes. Right, right. Tennis yeah, yeah. shoes. Yeah. You know, I have these funky colored shoes. I wish I had like a like a nice 
Tony Nicka collection of shoes or JJ collection of shoes. I, I most of my shoes are kind of white, or that's why I like white dials. You know, just the, the this one goes really well with the Air Force. Air Force One, guys. Just I'm not a big sneaker guy. Just Air Force One. Keep it simple. Yeah, it I, simple. I I do match my sneakers with my dials. So white goes with white, black goes with black. Yeah. There you go. Uh, uh, Tim, people love drama. This channel is a nice respite from all the chaos. Thank you, thank you so much. I think that's that's kind of how uh, I wanna I wanna keep it. I wanna keep it nice and peaceful. Um, uh, let's see, Alex, Tim, I'm thinking about upgrading my Datejust 36 to smooth bezel, blue Roman dial, 41 Datejust. Thoughts. Uh, <laughs> um, message me in the Discord. I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell you something very interesting. I think you're just very but, bored, Alex. Just uh, slow here's down. The thing, here's that's the what thing. I think. He's talking about. That's the Joe Biden edition. He's talking right. about smooth bezel, hey. blue robe. Uh, a little bit different. I think Biden has a uh, has a batons, but that's the kind. It's a very classy. Uh, watch. Actually, hold on. At uh, Alex is on a buying spree. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, he's, Alex, he hasn't bought anything, but he's just very <laughs> bored. You know he, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he's seeing everybody buying new watches. Like, I want to buy yeah. a new watch too. <laughs> I'm not buying any new watches, Alex. Why don't you take example from? That's what I said. These, these channels are down. very dangerous. Very slow deep. down. By the way, Alex was who was eating that delicious fish? I think it was Alex, right? Yeah, Alex. Oh, it was in the Discord. Yeah, yeah it was Alex. he got the tilapia. Yeah, yep. really, really nice. Guys, join the Discord. We know what everybody eats. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I can, I, I know exactly what everybody's eating. Uh, how, how, how funny is that? Just go to Tony's Kitchen and uh, and you can find out what everybody's eating. And it's only at four dollars per month. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. But the best community, actually. Let me drop the link one more time because some people, they're on the... What's it called? They're on the iPhones. And on, on, on the iPhone, you can't see uh, the join to become the member button. But Marco is not on it. Marco is steadfast against this new age sorcery called right. Discord. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Eventually, we'll get him there. So one day, I'll, I'll bribe him. I'll pay him. Marco, we'll I'll we'll pay just you shut $100. down the WhatsApp. Yeah. We just shut down WhatsApp and yeah. move Marco over. <laughs> Marco's gonna save everybody's phone number real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Reboot it. Call it the Marco WhatsApp. Tim, Reboot Cars it. and Chronos asking me what is he missing in the collection. This is a hard uh, question. Ah, ooh. ooh, the Grunefeld. I, I need to see Grunefeld. It. Yeah, that's an option, but I mean. <sighs> Let, let he's me got actually, a, he's me got a Jorn up. resonance. He's got a Jorn Chronomat Optimum, I mean. Yes. But so he's got he's got a repertoire already. He doesn't need another one. He can get the Principia, but just a three hander automatic for the price that they go for, I wouldn't buy that. Oh, get the link for Steven. Or for our captain, sorry. If you don't mind. Uh, Alex says I want to buy a new Rolex. He wants a new desperately wants a new Rolex. Um, you know what? Actually, Alex, Alex, Alex. Oh, you know what? Hey, 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 I got an idea. You have my permission to get the 41 smooth bezel. Uh, it could be get the get the blue dial Roman. Yeah. No, actually, no, no, don't get the Romans, get the batons and get it on the oyster bracelet and sell the date chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's gonna give you a little bit more cuteness with your AD. You're not gonna lose any money on that watch. You can actually even yeah. later make some money. Yeah, if you're bored, yeah, yeah. do it. But yeah. but his bluesy is coming, right? It's gonna be coming very soon. <laughs> maybe maybe they're waiting until it, the blues is gonna come when the day just, when he buys the date just. <laughs> Isn't he getting the root beer? No, nope. no, he's getting he's the bluesy now. <laughs> did he not buy? He didn't buy he, the root beer. He didn't. Uh, he he ended What's up right? not yeah. buying root beer. Did he? Oh, okay. Wow. One watch is missing. Three, two, one, speed. I like the blue. Platinum. Platinum. Not sure. What do I you mean, think, Tim? 
Three, two, one, speedy and platinum with the meteorite subdials. Three, two, one, speedy in platinum. No, right. no, 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 gold. Yeah, because he's got cars and chrono, cars and chrono, right? Yeah, but the gold one, the gold one is better. Or Ed but White. There's no gold one. Steel what? There's steel or platinum. Get the there's Ed White. There's the Apollo eleven fiftieth, but that's not a three, two, one movement. What about Ed White? Yeah. Oh, he's getting a fifty-nine ninety. Oh man. Yeah, but the three he says too many speedies. Yeah, but I, I get that, but the three to one is the original movement, right? That's the that's gonna be the most collectible speedy. The three it's got to modern one? The, yeah, the it's got the modern no 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 the newer ones. It's oh. got modern build quality. Uh maybe but it's okay. I'm gonna go way off the field here and say she needs the JLC reversal hybris mechanica oh stop it <laughs> hybris mechanica i'm not even sure what that is it's the new reversal that just came out it's got oh, like 15 one. complications oh, that uh, one? <laughs> oh yeah that is that is crazy oh though. my god yeah if you want the uh number el numero uno uh jlc reverso i think that would yeah. be it crazy get the el jefe what he has the the, uh, the paddock uh gold uh with the why is jc chocolate. even making this stuff this is ridiculous chocolate dial and he doesn't need anything he's getting a no black list. label jorn resonance one more after you get that i mean you don't need anything else that's a that's a mic drop like <sighs> he's got he's the got vc a, he's getting a blue poser streamliner chronograph he's got the highest level paddock. He's got the, History's 1921 platinum coming in. I mean, he's got so many watches coming in, mm. and so many watches are. Like, you don't need anything else. Yeah. That's it. You're done. Wow. He's got the think, I, think, I think Need left the station about one Louis Vuitton oh, box. Oh, you know what he needs? Need, An you know? FP Jorn chronograph, the Santi graph. You know those ones that the one that Kevin O'Leary has? Here, let me pull it up. I think I don't, have, I don't have that watch. While you pull it up, look at this question. Tim, you're in a situation. You have to wear one Invicta for a he year to avoid jail. Cars and Chrono, you need an FP Jorn chronograph. Oh my God. I'd rather die. Here you go. Polar fiend. That's ridiculous. Oh, I know what you mean. This is the with the crazy uh right. chronograph. He's gotta get this. It's insane. That chronograph is absolutely ridiculous. What is this? One one thousandth of a second? No, one one hundredth. Are you sure it's not one one thousand? A hundred. Zoom it in. Zoom it in. I think it might be one one thousandth. It's a hundred. Look at this. I'm not liking the uh, color pattern that uh, Francois Paul Jorn chose for this. What's game. his name? Um, Kevin O'Leary has this one. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that's one one hundredth. I spoke to Kevin, and uh, he did not mention this piece. I think you are Kevin. Which exactly? <laughs> oh, and look I at the panda, the panda, piece. the panda. Where? Right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The reverse panda. Panda, panda. This is a black Ooh. label. This is a black panda. label. No, are these? These will be impossible. Today. Panda, panda, the, panda, 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 the, panda, the panda. The pushers are really distracting. Um, it's just on the top right, oh, man. Yeah. You don't need anything else, honestly. He says Kevin O'Leary having it makes me not want to have it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. I gotta think on this, honestly. You got so much already. Like, I don't mm. know what else. That's the thing. Like, I don't even know if I could have picked as good as him. And what's the what's the Richard Mill situation? You're not into no. Richard Mill. Yeah, Richard Mill. Oh, he is a, he's he's a classic, but obviously yeah. shitters, shitters. I know, the shitters. I know. I I'm just him. asking what what he thinks of Richard Mille's. Obviously, we know it's garbage, but I'm just I'm just wondering what his opinion is. Mm -hmm. Maybe a fifty-two, fifty-three, twenty. I'm not, I'm not in the garbage. I like that I'm, not, I'm not in the it's garbage camp. I'm I'm well, not saying. It's yeah, 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 yeah. I'm. I will say it's not worth. You know, it's it's way too too expensive for what it is, but. You know Maybe what he needs to get? The syringe, syringe hands paddock. So either this, mm. or he can get the fifty-one seventy-two. What the only about... thing I don't like about this watch is the syringe hands. I love this. The syringe hands are what makes it. Look at yeah. this. Oh, well, 
you know. Look at this. Double I actually the think double that's step game that makes the world, the world go round. That's what makes the world go round. I'm not I'm you know, I'm not wearing I I don't want a syringe hands on my watch. That's just me. Look, I think if we look at and he's the, gotta get a me. Let's look, we forget. He's gotta get a me. Here. At least one me. Every man here. needs a me. I actually think that the Explorer two and actually the the Pepsi and then even even the uh what's it called? The grape. They're kind of weak. They're weak. Because everything else is so freaking strong. What about a meteorite dial? Uh Pepsi. What about what's it called? The new the new space panda. Right? Yeah, but I mean how many how many did Tonus can one man have? He's got I mean, he ultimate. doesn't need technically a space panda beat right. He's got the panda. panda. No. The panda is cool, but come on. Come on. It's just fake hype. I have, yeah, yeah, you have to keep it in the box somewhere in the safe. But it's not going to be as collectible as the space panda. Yeah, so so he, right now he has the land panda, which is a normal panda. He has the sea panda, which is the platona. Mm -hmm. So he needs a space panda now. <laughs> yes. And maybe a Paul Newman in there. Oh. I just think like the 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 reason the reason somebody gets something like uh, a lot a lot of people get the Pepsi because the Pepsi is so spoken about uh, on YouTube, but I think actually the literally the one with the meteorite that's the one to get that's the work of art. It's so freaking rare under the, it's. It's literally it's like the same as and now that the Pepsi's are gonna come on the oyster bracelet and the Jubilee, this Pepsi is not gonna be as special because it used to be that it was only on Jubilee. So I think man, I freaking I love I, I think he likes the stealth wealth look. If, if you look at all right. the Rolex, yes, zero yellow yeah. gold. Yeah, right. zero he doesn't have any gold. yellow gold. Space yeah. Panda, right. Stealth Wealth, yeah. a Meteorite Dial, Pepsi, Stealth Wealth. Maybe what else blueberry? is the Stealth Wealth? Blueberry, blueberry. The blueberry. What would you ex? Or the Smurf, blueberry or Smurf. Smurf, the Smurf, instead of the the Sea Dweller, or or the no no, no. this is Deep Sea, Deep Sea. Style collector, five dollar syringe hands by Zin. Stop it! Oh, it's a little bit different syringe hands, but man, I know. <sighs> man, the syringe Zen. hands. Uh, like I don't know. I, all those picks are are trash, Tim. I'm sorry. Meteorite. He's got well, Jorns in his box. What are you recommending? No, but well, well, no, no, no. He has a Jorn. He has the classic box. And he has these uh, Rolex box, and I think the Rolex got box is the good. The two best Daytona money can buy. No, the, they're the not. The steel one and the platinum. The panda is completely overhyped. I have it. I mean, it's great. Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, you wouldn't you wouldn't get rid of it. But Space Panda, that's going to be legendary. I know what you mean, but dude, look at this. He has a platinum. He has the steel. Mm -hmm. Why does he need the Explorer Two? Like Explorer no, Two. No, is recommending MBNF. Forget it. MBNF is not for him. I don't think so. It no, wouldn't no. look good in the collection. A smart no look. He, he, Ooh, remember, the he's going to have 36 nah. pieces. Nah. He's going to have because, 36 no. pieces. If he can't, like, I would obviously, I would go on the wait. If he can get on the wait list for the Space Panda, that's a no brainer for me. What, like, think about it. Why mm. wouldn't, would you upgrade a Pepsi to a Space Pepsi? No. What? I would take space Pepsi any day. Steel. It's take space. Steel. He has steel. He has the he has the explorer too. He has the the pan the panda. He has the sky dweller blue dial. Space panda and space Pepsi. <laughs> space Pepsi guys. It's out of this world. Thank you. Oh my god. The space panda. 
oh the meteorite it, it's gimmicky no it's not it's not i don't love not. it yeah i don't love it either i hate the meteorite. Guys, guys, i gotta be honest I, look guys i understand i understand what you mean i thought the same thing that oh it's uh, it's a piece of meteorite what what's the big deal it's nice tim but it's not it's not even no no it's not that it's like functionally nice and the material is nice it's the fact of how it important it is in the rolex range uh, like rolex really cherishes this like as a brand they look at the meteorite they give it extra attention it's 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 not that like it's not like you get so much more it's not it's not, it's not so much more expensive to make the uh, the meteorite but how special it is to the brand that's what's interesting uh, Cars and Chrono, Tim can't wait to join live. Yeah, we would love to talk to you, to actually, uh, you know, have a have a discussion that's uh, quicker, quicker. That's the problem. Like Tim, mm -hmm. he has so much amazing stuff yeah. already, and so much stuff coming in too it's just, that we've talked about. It's just like I can't recommend anything because it's like he has. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I could have picked as good as him. If I had done it myself, you know what 36 I mean? 36 pieces. This is, we only see, what is this? 8 and 8, 16. This is like a half of the collection. So you have to understand the growth potential. And I think if we don't, if we, if he doesn't pick up those meteorite things, he will end up regretting it. Because, like, I, I had extensive uh, discussions with my AD and, uh, they were telling me like how rare, like they on in the pictures, they might not look like anything special. I'm just saying from a collectability perspective, if he is looking like the reason he likes, uh, part of the reason why FB joins are amazing is because of how few pieces they make, right? Well, and how complicated they are. Well, Rolex doesn't do complicated things, but they do limited. That's their limited edition where it's limited production and those are very limited and very special and they're completely understated unless you're a huge collector so i think love your commitment to me right trust me cars and chrono trust me you need to get like i it, it, you can you need to get your hands on one and then you'll know what i'm talking about there are I gotta be honest. Here's what I'll say. Check this out. I'll show you something. I'll show you something. One second. One second. So you go to website, right? You go to the Daytona. You take a look at the image. And I gotta be honest. When I saw the image, I thought, "Oh, this is ugly." I actually thought that this was ugly because uh, obviously this is like a computer rendering of what the dial looks like. This doesn't re represent. It actually looks very ugly. Like they punched out too much of the meteorite, and it just looks. It looks ugly. But you look at it in real life, and it blows your mind. I don't know if I can actually. You, you know look... what though? On the, I'll tell you this. Yeah. On the pictures, when I was looking through the gold, uh, the gold Daytonas. Yeah. And I look. I thought that meteorite on the Pepsi, I never, I never understood it. You know, I, yes. think I just didn't know what it was. Yeah. So I didn't appreciate it. On yes. The Pepsi. When I looked at it on the gold and it's because you told me, you know, when you and I think we're at one point flipping through different, the different dial variations on the gold, I kept going back to the meteorite and yeah. I was like, what is that? And then I realized it was mm. the meteorite. And I, I was like, that was like my number one without knowing you know how just how special it is it's like yeah. you can see how special it is yeah by looking at the picture you're like whoa yeah. it what is that? in the pictures it looks really bad yeah but i kind of was like drawn to it in a way in a strange way though even in the pictures i've never seen one in the i can imagine live it's 10 times oh. better oh my but god i There's think nothing... in the gold it's the best style it's number one <sighs> in the gold and then oh. number two would be the black, like the chocolate dot, the, the um, for me anyway, the the uh, champagne with with black. Yeah, 
I just know really people, quickly people this like is he black. sent me uh how the cushion is and the cushion looks oh. really nice with yeah. double pins oh it's my just, god it's very nice looks soft too yeah it looks so like it's it won't scratch the thing and it looks it just has just enough resistance to so that it doesn't stretch out the bracelet yeah yeah very well made very well made yep marco can you select on Bosphorus the pillow side? You mentioned... Chrono, at Marco, respect your knowledge. At your age, I was doing Movado. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There wasn't a I... YouTube channel like this to give the kind of information. I don't like anything else, honestly. Like, I don't like cars. You guys know I'm not a big car guy. Yeah. Like, it's pretty much watches, you know what I mean? Like, clothing to me is a waste of money. I don't buy any of that nasty, that, that expensive stuff. Mm. Shoes, I'm not into shoes. Mm. Nothing. I just, just run through shoes. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, I recommended like a corn de vache. Because, I mean, like we're grasping at straws. Like a corn de vache and maybe something from Kerry Voodoo just to be different. But that's it. Like, I mean, I would just wait until something beautiful comes up. It's released from somebody, you know what I mean? Something beautiful that's new. Cause but, uh, alternatively, why don't you work with one of the watch brands to actually customize a watch for you? Because, <laughs> no, no, seriously. I mean, yeah? at his level, at his level, right? Uh, he could like actually a paddock, do that. Like a custom paddock? Yeah, what, yeah, he could customize certain hands or customize certain mm -hmm. gearing. Well, Wasn't carry it like with a line and you can do a completely bespoke yeah. dial, whatever you want. He, he can work with you. Yeah, mm, not against you, right? Ooh, what is the guy? Daniels? Uh, too. That's what somebody recommend. It's too simple. Jordan yeah, has see? so much more character. He's already there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's already there. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's already there. Yeah. But yeah, guys. Uh, listen, I like Roger Smith. He's an amazing watchmaker, but too too traditional. Wait, I mean, he gives Paddock a run for their money. He gives Breguet a run for their money in terms of too traditional, like way too simple, way too traditional. Like it's mm. beautiful works of art, but Jorn has way more characters, a nicer watch, mm. in my opinion. Barbinghar says <laughs> Zen makes great syringe hands style collector. <laughs> and Tommy, I'm into clothes, shoes, silverware. Oh, plates. By the way, uh Hassan got an uh, like some magical uh paddock Philippe plate. Which I was really surprised. Like, what, what, Patek Philippe? They do plates? Yes, apparently. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically, we have two boxes to fill, right? The mm. high end box and the beater box. <laughs> yeah. And I think and, this makes a perfect beater watch, a space yeah. panda, a perfect beater. Like, there's no but beater. The, the, the sea like frontier. Yeah, the yeah. sea like. Rubber straps, or he prefers. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I mean, he has a lot of leather straps, so he's gonna love them. He's gonna love it. It actually feels really good. The the Whoa. the rubber feels yeah, amazing. Us, he's a young. He he looks like he's pretty young. He's us a young, young guy. Guys, yeah. We don't like we don't like uh, we don't like the latex. Him, come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he no can get glove, it on the no steel love, bracelet no too. Glove, no, no, it's no, no problem. Love. Look right here. Bam. Uh, Ooh. it's a white gold bracelet. <laughs> yeah, white gold panda space panda. This is a space panda in the full uniform, ready to go into outer space. But guys, we have to wrap it up because we're doing the show ready for three, three hours. hours. Tim, what kind minutes. of slave labor is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's wrap it up. Let me yeah, the the put me on retainer. It's just, you know, you know what happened was I was gonna end it one hour ago, but then cars and chrono came on, and we were like, ah, you know, come on, we gotta keep <laughs> going. There's no way. Tim, you're gonna have to put me on retainer soon. I do, yeah. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no joke, no joke. I'm kidding. Uh, you know why I say that. Right? Trying is hey, trying hey. is trying his brother a Rolex, man. We know. No, I would love to do some kind five of five bucks an hour. We need man. to do some kind of show. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna think of something. We're gonna think of something. We need to get you monetized as, as a ASAP. But yeah, let's. Uh, uh, I want to thank everyone, especially Marco, <laughs> for coming on to the show to 
talk. What do you mean? Casey was on longer than me. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying to talk about the uh, Kerry Woodlinen and uh, Parmigiani Reggiani. Teach us <laughs> a little bit about <laughs> <laughs> Chrono and uh, uh, FP Jorns and all the good stuff. Uh, Casey, thank you for coming on to the show. Obviously, Steven. And I want to thank everybody who was in the chat. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs go. Good night, guys. Exactly. All right. And remember to check out my membership and the Discord. And if you're already a member, click the the thing uh, on your membership benefits and come onto the Discord because you're paying money for it. So I want you to get the benefit, okay? Okay.